Welcome to the EDH Lounge. We have a special lounge for you this week. It is Tribal Wars. Four tribes coming together with only one being victorious. My name is Jolt, and I will be playing Saskia, Samurai Tribal. I will be attempting to teach the entire board, the entire board, uh, the Bushido Code. That's what we're going to be going for. Hopefully, get a good showing from the Samurai. Eli, what are you rolling out? I'm playing uh, Lin Sibby, and I'll be doing my best teenager impression and rebelling. <laughs> nice. Got the rebels. Mudsta. Looks like you got a golem over there. What are you we're doing? Out? We're doing Karin's Discount Golem Barn. Uh, <laughs> half off all golems. They're kind of run down, a little rusty. Not the best, but uh, hopefully we'll get some out for cheap and uh, see where it goes. Can't wait to see. I always, I always enjoy playing against a, a, a brown deck. It's always fun. And last but not least, PJ, what are you rolling out? I am running out Ariel Recurring Nightmares. Uh, we're do <laughs> oh, graveyard boy. shenanigans with a bunch of knights, and we'll see how okay. that goes. Is she Sounds riding fun. a panther? Uh, that does look like a very large kitty. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I just now noticed that. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> but, oh and also before we jump into the video we are all recording from our very own perspective so if you can watch it from the rebels point uh, standpoint from the golem standpoint from the knight standpoint or the samurai standpoint there will be links down in the description below to everybody else's channel let's have some fun let's go I'm excited to see the golem feeling about their decks so good so excited so happy Mine is <laughs> mine is really clunky. I just hope we dirtle for like ten turns. Like, I just don't want to skip through something. That's what I don't want to do. Like, oh, I got an infant combo. Nope, nope. F six through it. <laughs> well done. Well, the good thing is uh, you don't have a risk study in there, so you don't have to. <laughs> it's true. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about it too much. <laughs> there so was uh, a. What was it? That, that shirt that triggers. I missed them a lot. Shirt that uh, <laughs> Epic Upgrades is doing. Uh, he's. Uh, kind enough to send me one because he feels bad for me because people make fun of me on twitter about it so <laughs> it's pretty I, cool. I love in your video when you get the dame of the uh, the dice of shame oh my gosh Go they on. happen they happen a lot <laughs> <laughs> i hope y'all are ready for a pj start i'm about to show it oh boy i know no soul ring i went on really light on the mana rocks this time <laughs> i went super heavy but that's because i feel like you have to in mono brown like the only thing i got yeah, going for me are yeah. mana rocks you I'm absolutely just have to Flooded strand. I was just, yeah, everyone called my bluff. What is this off color? <laughs> off color fetches? You sickened we're me. Min, we're min maxing. We're oh, uh, boy. <laughs> we're all the I fetch really lines are for that. wastes. It is a uh, what is it? I've got samurai combo in here. Actually, nobody knows about. So I'm really excited. It's gonna mill <laughs> the whole table. <laughs> I read somewhere that Sheldon wants to remove the off-color fetch rule. People have been saying that, but I think I think people would be too upset if they actually went through with that. So yeah, exactly. Um, I could see them not, and I I really don't think it's uh, a huge barrier for the format. Like decks get by without fetches. It just makes yeah. it a little bit better. Right. Yeah, it's just I mean, you're trying to do stuff, fun stuff, and you're just not having your man. You know, that a four-color deck like this, it is just sometimes kind of brutal. Get that stuff going. Oh, another flooded strand. <laughs> where's Eli's? Eli, where's your flooded strand? Why aren't you why aren't you <laughs> getting on this bandwagon? I know. I, I just want to planes. Let's see. A snowy planes, perhaps? Oh, it's all snow covered. It's the right answer. It's the right answer. I just learned about the snow covered extra planar lens trick. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. I was not fun. previously aware of that. Yep. It's one of the best ways to be mono white, I think. Or mono white or mono blue, really. And then deny everyone else the chance to uh, get any ramp. Yep. What you going to name? I'm going to name... Uh, Golems? Yeah, I'm going to name Golem. <laughs> <laughs> samurai. Let's get the Samurai going. I, I, I tested this deck a little bit in one versus one, and it's like, it's kind of fun. I've, I've got a decent opening hand, but it's just kind of, man, they just don't, you don't have a lot to work with with Samurai. It is. I like I like Saskia as a commander. I think she's quite yeah. good. I do like that you get to choose a player, and you can see that she's pointing at somebody, too. <laughs> yeah. In response to you finding a land, I find a land. And in response <laughs> to me finding that land... Eli's casting a creature that's going to find lands. You're just, you're just tempting misclicking now. Oh my god, that's going to be so bad. I'm going to click a waste <laughs> and just rage. 
<laughs> Grab that mistress workshop. Yep. Boom. Oh, workshop. I need it. I need it. I love casting turn two tri skillions in old school. Oh, <laughs> goodness. <laughs> that seems fair. It's fun. The there best the best golem. Oh, sad robot. Hashtag sad Monster. robot. Oh, yeah. Hashtag sad, sad solemn. Let's keep the brand up. Hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. Someone got really upset with me because he's like, you know that sad solemn means the exact, like, because sad and solemn are the same kind of meaning, basically. And uh, I just didn't think that hashtag sad simulacrum had the same kind of rig to it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that seems fair. You do what you need to do. That's but. it. I think when Saskia enters the battlefield, she's going to be pointing at that Mistress Workshop. So if, if they choose you, if she chooses you, Mudsta, I do Please apologize. No. Please no. <laughs> hey, it's a commander. I'm so glad you pointed out that panther because I, I never realized that. I know. Isn't it sweet? <laughs> yeah. Big black but cat. I, That's it. it. Just like, like, when you, like I do art for the channel sometimes and you like get the source image and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so much, so much more stuff in here that I didn't know about. Yeah. Yeah, they do a bad job of like shrinking the image down to fit the screen and the card, and yeah. like, you can't really like see any of the detail of the art. Let's see. I don't even the sequence is. Let's do this. All right. Get the scry going. Get the scurry. The fever. <laughs> the scree. <laughs> the insanity. <laughs> oh no! I thought there was a card I have in my hand that I thought was a different card, and now I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> I just realized uh, it's a newer one. I thought it was something else, but it's not. So I'm, I'm a little sad now. I'm just going to go and pass the turn. Metallic Mimic's going to sit there pretending to be a samurai. I wish. <laughs> pretending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a Metallic Mimic would make a really cool looking samurai, though. Yeah. If he was like, you know, if, Metall if you think of Metallic Mimic as like a transformer, like if Sweet. you were to yeah, name yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I bet that would look pretty good. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to? Are there any golf cart vehicles in in your deck? Uh, <laughs> no, but some look awful suspicious, like they're holding pickles. So, <laughs> um, pickle 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 themed might might not be that far off. I mean, I'm pretty much running golf cart tribal. All my creatures are riding something. <laughs> there you go. They might not be like necessarily on golf carts, but in 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 spirit. In spirit, okay, that, that makes sense. <laughs> So that weather wayfair is going to be putting in some work today. I yeah. think so. When you get that thing active, it is a sweet card. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Any well, land. Just, you, mm -hmm. you don't really think of mono white as mana fixing, but then there's just sometimes it's just like you know land tax and you know, get oh, to the, the new. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about the new land tax being um, the judge art. Like, or the, I think it's the judge art. It's like the treasure chest land tax art in Battle Bond. Oh, okay, oh yeah, my goodness, that looks good. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, the I like the old one. I mean, it, it looks classic, but it's just it's so cheesy looking. Like, the dude, yeah. the dude with the gold bag. Yeah, it's just so cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't help but look at it and be like, okay, that was just what's, it, what's going on here. Different style of art and era. Yeah, it's got a creepy little mustache. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. He's using the workshop. So this is the creature I thought was the one that actually, uh, it's the golem one that fights another creature and then it flips. This is not it. Oh, I, am, oh, I can see that. Yeah. He's I'm also a golem, but I don't have him. So Differently named lands you control? Weird card. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be good because like I'm running, I think at this point, after I cut some wastes, I'm running like six basics and 30 lands. So there's 30 lands with different names. Yeah, that's one of the fun <laughs> things about building an artifact deck like or a brown deck is you get all these just random like colorless lands. Yeah. <laughs> well, before they had wastes, I mean, yeah, you you had to, you had no other choice. I had elephant graveyard, I think, yep. in my initial build of tracks. It was just because yep. I was like, I could run a waste, but I was like, no, nah, I just want to have elephant graveyard. Yep. And it actually works out because if you get um, oh Trastodon, is that it? I think. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, if you get that on the battlefield, it actually works out to where you can regenerate those tokens if they blow it up. So. I use it in Mistform Ultimus because he's everything, so it's basically uh, a way to regenerate it. That in the Swarm Yard, because it regenerates yeah, insects, rats, and stuff like yard. that. Right. There's no better magic feeling than if you're playing like some sort of rat deck and you get yep. down Swarm Yard, it's just like, stop me. <laughs> Nobody can stop me. <laughs> I need to get some creatures sure. down. Make I'm looking sure at the Awakened of Algrim. I'm getting kind of scared. You should be. Planes. He's coming for you. Got some planes. Is that... Looks like he's got like one, two, three, four... Is that like a six-legged thing? I don't know what's going on there. He's got, he's got like... It looks like he's got two legs and then like two big hands in the front and then two hands in the back. It's General Grievous. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Except with all the lightsabers and the, like the lung kind of coughing and awfulness I, I don't that he know seems why. to have. I, I love General Grievous. I've just always loved that character. He's just a, <clears throat> the cough thing. Yeah. And just, <laughs> why? I don't know, but it's just like, yeah, it's just like, why is that there? But I'm just like, as a character, like, I'm just like, I love it, man. Yeah. <laughs> he was great in the uh, original animated Clone Wars. Yeah. I like the series watched, a lot. Yeah, I, I watched. I actually watched that yesterday. I was recording and I just had it on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, line's drawn in, in the sand right now. Well, I guess, you know, technically Knights and Rebels, that would actually be, flavor-wise, That's... that would probably be the... <laughs> it's a thematic, a thematic the win. The traditional, that should be the, the correct way to do it, I yeah. should say. PJ's, PJ's winning already, just from a, a lore standpoint. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have you guys seen Solo yet? Uh, we no. saw it last night. What'd you think? Uh, we can discuss it after. I don't want to spoil it for anyone else. All right. <laughs> I love Star Wars, though. Let's see. Yeah, we have all the uh, Alamo Draft House makes uh, these specialty glasses that have like these really cool prints from the movie on them. So oh, sweet. We have like all the Star Wars ones. It's pretty oh, sweet. sweet. Are we gonna say Saskia? Are we gonna see a, a, a spicy Saskia? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I want to sequence this one. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's go. I Actually, will say yeah, that can... she's not a samurai, so. I feel like you're disqualified from this match already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure if there was going to be a problem if, like, my commander was not part of the tribe. It's deeply upsetting to me. I picked my commander based on him being. Oh, I, oh my goodness! I oh, dang it! I just stared at this card for thirty seconds and I did it out of order. Whoops! <laughs> dang it! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I was thinking it was uh, the the other one, the yeah. champion of the parish. Dang it! All right, there we go. Protection from right. Uh -oh. oh, no, no, that'll still work. Yeah, I should have done it. The, well, actually, yeah. I guess it still kind of works. Yeah, I mean, it's like what me with the Awakened Amalgam. I thought it was the Golem thing. It's like, yeah, this is a sweet hand. And now I'm like, oh, this is just a generic beater for four. Great. <laughs> yeah. And I, I almost didn't. Um, uh, well, hold, maybe we can make an alliance with the Rebels. I'll hold back. Right you mean a, the Rebel Alliance? The Rebel Alliance, what? yeah. But maybe what? Samurai could benefit there. <laughs> Yeah, I almost didn't play test my deck. I was like, I need to. And then I was, I was, I was looking at it, making sure it was ready for today. And then I was just like, Yeah, this is kind of clunky looking. I need to, hmm. I need to get this going a little bit. As I'm sure most people can tell by my playstyle, I never play test my deck. <laughs> <laughs> and it shows. I uh, I tested mine last night, and I realized things like scoured barons uh, were heavily needed because there's so many like double and triple mm. white in the deck. Yeah, knights are are pretty greedy in mana symbols. I think from my yeah. From my limited recollection of them, I was just really, like I'm really lying on like any sort of ramp in my deck, mm -hmm. and so um, I'm hoping to use the stuff like Cultivate and Kodama's Reach. But thankfully, I was just worried about getting like two like black white lands and just sitting on that with nothing for the rest of the game. Yeah. I have like I have a mana base, so I'm just like if I win or lose, I'm like I'm just happy I have mana that I'm yeah. at least I got to play Magic. Yes. <laughs> I thought about putting, uh, what's the, the silly, crazy, like, three-cost golem, the thing that taps for mana based on artifacts and hands? Metalworker? Metalworker, but I decided against it, because I thought I'd be a little <laughs> yeah. bit too strong. I, I love the art on that one. Me Metalworker too. looks so good. Got a little laser beam coming out of his tummy. Yeah. He's like, here, <laughs> eat, eat all the mana you need. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first time I saw Metalworker, some friend of mine was playing a... Uh, Basically, an infinite mana combo with Metal oh Worker, which isn't like that hard to do. Nope. 
I'm just like, oh, I guess you win. <laughs> <laughs> Fun, yeah, right? Uh, we got a group hug going on. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. Group insanity. Ooh. Uh... That actually works out beautifully because that puts my tutor card into my hand, and now you're... I can use land tax on my turn. You're welcome. Thank and you. I totally didn't draw anything that was 100% played it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you did. So as far as deck building goes, I really, really wanted to put Coat of Arms in here. <laughs> I ended up not, and so I'm curious if anybody else ended up putting Coat of Arms in there. You nope. keep it a secret. Nope. But Nope, not even once. I I thought about it, and then I'm like, I'm just going to help everyone else way more than it's going to help yeah. me. And I'm like, that's not a risk worth taking. I'm not going to attack anyone because I'm a nice guy. So uh, Also, I, don't, I fear the swing back. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we're just building up these tribal armies. Like, we're yep. just meeting, like, Braveheart, just slowly bringing more and more people out there. Oh, let's always yield to that. I keep forgetting. I haven't played MTG on a long time. I've been on only Arena for a little while. You've been playing Arena? Mm hmm. I haven't touched it in, like, at least a month, maybe two. It's it's fun when I want to knock out a game or two. But uh, I, yeah. tried to do a, I tried to do an MTGO game for EDH without, like, people I know. And it was just, uh, there were like lulls of two or three minutes between each play, and just, it was, yeah. it just dragged on and on. Like you tried to record a game, or you tried to No, just, it? just tried to play, like, just tried to, to have fun. And, yeah. uh, it was just so slow. Yeah, that's, um, I'm glad we have the lounge, because I can talk to people now. When I, like, I've recorded, like, two or three, like, like, multiplayer games mm -hmm. and i wouldn't edit it like pj does and mm -hmm. so my videos were i would just like ramble for like <laughs> like two hours because i would just like there would be no silence like i hate silence and it would yeah. just be like oh just brutal all right let's get some stuff done so i thought about that i'm like i wonder if i could just like fill the amount of time that you fill like while making plays and i'm like i can't it's not nope. a skill that i know nope. nope. I, I wouldn't even try my brain was just poo poo. It was just like it was just mush. <laughs> Could not do it. Yeah, I've gotten to a place where like I know when I want to talk, and that, and then like I can basically just edit the video down mm -hmm. using looking at the audio file or looking yeah. at the audio portion of it, and that tells me like exactly where uh, I need to make yeah. my points. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I changed my uh, video recording software. I'll, I'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, those protections aren't going to do a whole heck of a lot against me, sir. <laughs> no, I'm still coming in at you. Why? <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> I'm gonna. We got land tax and Frexian Arena, so we need to kind of maybe head over in that general direction. That's not what you were saying a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, hand of cruelty! I, I love that the purple eye. Make sure I'm choosing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's got protection from white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was going to make a knight. And... He was saying he was putting all this crazy anti-golem, anti-knight tech earlier on, so <laughs> well, I think we're starting this, to see it. This totally towards my plan of making a knight and blocking with a knight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, luckily I land tax, so I can just pitch a land. <laughs> <laughs> sort of Feast and Famine, the, uh, the discard adds up pretty quickly. It does. Yeah, the it's discard like... does, but I mean, the, the untapping the land. Yeah, of course, of course. Double your mana, basically. Uh, all right, discard the land. There aren't a lot of basics in this deck, and <laughs> discarding them seems maybe not great. But... Hmm. At least it doesn't have double strike. Yeah. Yeah, that would, that would add up. All right, let's see what he's got next. Oh, well, yep. This yep. Just seems like I human trial. Where are the samurais? I'm, I'm getting another samurai going. I did a video on samurai a while back, and they are a hard tribe to build around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so like my my non, because to the viewers out there, we all agreed that you know in the neighborhood of five to seven non tribe support you could put in there, and so basically I've drawn into. All of my support followers, lieutenant, <laughs> mayor. And the only one I'm missing is be like champion of the parish, but that yeah. at this point now I wouldn't do that. I good. would consider the mimic though a golem because it's a shapeshifter and you choose the type. Yeah. So yeah. stuff like that. Like, and I think I have actually um, adaptive automaton. 
as well, just okay. because like it becomes whatever you need it to be. So I haven't actually drawn a single knight yet. I've only played like a later. <laughs> I would like to I'm, see them just, sooner or later. Just make knights. It's fine. It's I'm, fine. I'm not gonna lie. My board state is not like if you said hey, I would have this on the board, I'd be like, you're wrong. That's not gonna. Yeah. happen. <laughs> you're crazy. Yeah, I'm just like I'm like, what are you doing, deck? We're supposed to be getting one creature down and then <laughs> losing. So I went through about five different deck ideas for this show, mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, starting with Phoenix Tribal, which oh. did not work. It there's a mm. uh, if you play Jaya Ballard, the one of the guys I play with Eric, uh, his Jaya Ballard deck is Phoenix Tribal because they just come back to your hand and you can discard them with Jaya for all of those crazy effects. Yeah, I was trying to use it with uh, Doretti since mm. it had the discard yep. Uh, yep. built in there, but it like there needs to be probably about five more Phoenix. For mm. it to really like start to feel like a Phoenix deck. Well, you can get that new one now from the uh, the uh, Chinese inspired set. There's that awful six drop Phoenix that you can get from there now. Oh, Which yeah. one? There's it's one of the ones that they made. I mean, I understand none of the cards they wanted to be really good because otherwise, oh, that's a good card to have. Um, you don't want people fighting to have to get these like very limited, hard to access cards. But uh, it's like six mana for a three three that when it swings, you can pay like two mana and it does three damage to a creature it seems like a dragon more than a phoenix but i don't know uh, how do you feel about them being those are like them making regional decks like that i think it's kind of cool I, I really don't mind yeah I, I think it's neat it's just kind of weird that it's like they did that because they always try so hard to make standard be like hey you know if it's in standard you can get it but yeah. i understand why it's just so it, it's a weird thing to me that they did end up doing that yeah But hopefully that means that they're stepping in a direction to do that. We might see more of that. So Yeah, that'd be, be kind of cool. cool. I feel like there's a lot of room, like, you know, when they did, like, the inventions and stuff like that, special cards like that, I feel like Magic has a lot of room to kind of branch into that territory mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. make these special cards like that, but they just, uh-oh. Keeping you honest uh -oh. there, bud. Huh. But, uh, yeah, every once in a while they lay down a... Uh, <laughs> in the uh, promo cards yeah. and then life is bad. Yep. Have you guys been following paper prices at all? Yep. Well, I, mean, I play ex almost exclusively paper except for this, so yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's expensive. Yeah, it's yeah. stupid. Mana Crypt jumped up like 20, 30 bucks in the last year. Yep. Uh, Land Tax is up like 15. I feel like almost every reserve list card has gone up yeah. like Well, Land Tax is going to tank because of the reprint and Battle Bond, but uh, no, reserve list stuff like, what was it? I think it's... um. It's this one mana, and Eli might know about it, because it's one mana, uh, discard X cards from your hand, you deal X damage to up to X amount of players. Fire, firestorm. Firestorm. Yeah, firestorm, I'm, I'm firestorm I'm people have bought out, and it's now like $90. And it, like, sees, it sees legacy play as like a one or two of in a sideboard for, I think, lands or Nick fit. And it's just people were like, well, it hasn't been bought out yet. And there you go. Yeah, it's like, because I play all of my magic is pretty much online. You know, yeah. I used to go to the store randomly, but the other day I was just like, because I, I don't have a fully functional commander deck in paper. That's so I was just kind of like, I need to, I need, I want to have at least one deck that I can bring to the store. And, yeah. Because playing the lounge has made me really appreciate multiplayer commander. Yeah. So I was like, I want to have something to go play in paper. And then like, my very first commander deck was Omnath, just mono green Omnath. And I was mm -hmm. like, well, you know, mono green's always pretty safe pretty thing to go for and like i threw together my current deck list and it still made it was like 300 dollars of what i needed to like fill in with that a yep. deck that i made from like i'm like good gosh yep. yep and then i start looking at some of the cards that i do have and because i have a decent collection it's not that bad but i'm starting looking at some of this stuff i was like i don't play paper magic i'm just like the prices have gotten to the point now to where i'm like it, it's, maybe i should uh, sell some of this stuff it's, it's just tough there. sometimes yeah like I, i'm only missing an underground c but i mean they're what I mean, they're 800 Canadian Eli, or maybe closer to a thousand. Yeah, they, I know oh, they shot they're... up to almost a thousand bucks. Or at least I saw eight or nine hundred on Friday. Yeah. So. Oh, I see someone else likes to play their Guy Reed Sanitarium. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got a handful of lands, so uh, we need to start <laughs> time to start discarding. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, three months ago, Firestorm was sixty cents online. Now it's like four tickets. Yeah. Why? Wow. Why? I know exactly. 
but I think that's probably gonna it's gonna it's gonna come down. I think that one can't maintain that kind of price. You said it's called Firestorm. Yeah. Firestorm, yeah. Yeah, I was I was building a deck for uh, pre modern. Luckily, I already oh the, use that in Hazaret. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I love the art on that one. It looks good. Yeah, it's it's a fun card, but I don't I don't think it deserves the price that it has. But what do I know? No, that's, that's why. I mean, and, and the thing about it is like, I understand why the reserve list exists. Like. I don't know, man. Like, I have my cube, and I just have, like, proxy dual lands in there. And, like, I, I would so just, if they were reasonable, I would love to have an actual mm -hmm. card like that. But mm -hmm. it's just, like, I just, I find it, uh, you know, ignoring the legal ramifications of them abolishing the reserve list or whatever. Like, it's still, yeah. like, as a Magic player, it, I find it, like, part of our game is going to, it's not going to be enjoyed by, you know, future generations, which is always kind of like that. Potentially, yeah. It's, it's, it's very, it can be really? detrimental yeah. yeah, for the the hell of the, of the formats. One of the problems too is how popular Commander is, mm -hmm. and most of those cards being legal in Commander, um, things like Legacy and Vintage just aren't that popular, so it's not as big of a deal as it could be. We have a pretty um, in New Jersey. There's a pretty big Legacy um, scene and Vintage too. Like I was surprised. Yeah, I mean I know they they exist, but they're not like massive. They're not widespread yeah. all over the world. You know True. What I mean? Like there's like little pockets here and there. But it's not like F and M where you get you know thirty people that show up every week yeah. for like standard or you know modern or whatever. So Joel, where are those uh, where are those headed? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the Oblivion Stone, and I think mm. Sam Ryan are not a huge fan of Oblivion Stone, so Oddly we, enough. we may not may not be heading that way. Mm. Interesting. We may interesting. I'm worried about that law, that Lawbringer out there for Saskia. Yeah, I think the Lawbringer's got one. He's going to bring I'll her into justice. It I'm gonna Goodness. spread it around. What is she doing in the art? <laughs> Which one? The Lawbringer. Yeah, this one. I love it. <laughs> it's that's, like a that's an, gonna, like that's a, an intense piece of art there. Uh, yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah, Alligator-looking yeah. man or something. PJ, you gotta get some removal there. Oh, it's coming back at me. Well, I was gonna <laughs> spread it around, then I got worried about. Uh, uh, somebody said they had a lot of lands, so I'm, I'm just doing the math in my head that if somebody has a lot of lands, that might be a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, I've got a ton of lands in hand, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> that scared there. My driver crashed for a second. Whole screen went Oof, black. That's not good. Keep getting that air. Display driver has kernel. It's time for a new computer. Uh, Probably. Yeah, white, Getting those white. kind of errors, yeah. Three, all right, yeah, I think we can get rid of that. Yeah, when I Googled it, though, it seems kind of common for Windows 7. Hmm. So the second iteration that I wanted to, of decks that I wanted to play for this, uh, for this episode was Elemental Tribal with Horde of Notions. Nice. And I actually got a okay. list... I got a list somewhat put together. It was probably about 110 cards. I didn't cut it all the way down. Mm. But uh, I don't know. I just kind of shied away from it. I figured I would use that another time. Yeah. Um, then I started thinking about the Night Tribal thing. I wanted to go Mardu, but Queen Marchessa is probably the best bet, but isn't yeah. a knight herself. Well, um, apparently we don't have to be constrained to that, <laughs> but someone didn't tell us. <laughs> yeah, I figured I figured that might come up, so I'm just like, uh, I'll go black white. I know Ari a lot of people have been running Ariel, but I haven't seen them having success with it. So I was she seeing seems if I fun. could like try to improve upon yeah. you know, that uh, deck. Yeah, and then I, I like... almost thought about running Elbrus the Binding Blade, and then decided not to at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> like secret commander, because he can't be in the command zone. Not as a secret commander, but just as like something to do late in the game. Mm, that's true. The eight mana do nothing equipment. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Kick it over. What does Mayor flip on? Oh yeah. If no spells are cast, okay. Yeah. Did I cast a spell? What did I cast? Oh, expedition map, right. I'm worried about Lin Civi. That's uh I've played against Lin Civi before and it's it can be brutal. They, yeah, there's something where I'm just remember thinking like, okay, yep, that was pretty bad. Yep. 
<laughs> Too much right now. I actually didn't plan to be using Ariel's ability all that much, but it seems like... Why not? She makes knights. Yeah, the only thing I can really do at this point. <laughs> I just love that the Night Tribal is just going off strictly activations. Yeah. <laughs> you do you. I'm 25 cars into the deck. I haven't seen a single one. <laughs> I should have just brought Tet Yova Bird Tribal and just made all the mess, mess people up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was... And actually, I mean, it kind of works out pretty well in... Uh, uh oh. Okay. So we got an activation coming across. EJ, you making another drink? What? <laughs> no, that wasn't me. <laughs> I think it, that's my wife. She's having it's lunch. The EH, the EH lounge. The, the, only time, the only time that allows for <laughs> for noon drinking. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this is a lounge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's uh -oh. it, it, Eli, what have you done? Someone could bring me a bright blue martini. <laughs> Goodness. Glass of blue milk. Oh. <laughs> we have a werewolf on the battlefield now. Yeah. The backside yeah, of that yeah. thing's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. it's just hard to get it there. Oh, yeah. It is nice that you get the 2 2 wolf token. Yeah. I was really surprised they didn't print another card like Moon Mist that flips all your werewolves over in uh, yeah. Shadows over in Estrada. Yeah. I need, to go back and, I need to go back and revisit. I, I built the uh, red green werewolf commander guy. I played it once, but I need to go back and replay that because it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. He's cool. It just he doesn't what? have like the support, I think. There's just not enough. Yeah. Right. No, we're gonna be modest. We're gonna we're gonna play it play it cool. The wake as the wake in the Malgram just sits there and just gets more and more. It's working out. Angry. He's just getting his his swole on. Smashing water. That's how he works out. That's it. it. <laughs> it's 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 <laughs> resistance training. <laughs> in fact, Mutt says, in fact, that's the, I've I've learned to do that now. So I go mm -hmm. down to my local creek and smash water. Exactly. The police get called. <laughs> Yes, that man is smashing the creek water again. <laughs> we'll be out there. <laughs> you know it. I mean, I love the police show up, and you're just like, oh, Wake the Malcolm does it. I can do it, too. <laughs> like, All right, we're going to get him. Come on, be a knight. Be a knight. You're putting too much pressure on the arena, man. You got to let it. You just got to get to play it cool. Be like, you know what? If it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. Just, just roll with it. <laughs> All right, no knights, but you got some useful stuff, so that's that is helpful. I like that Jolt's got that uh, two mana open. Ah, oh, it's no nothing to worry about. No, over not, here. It's not a heroic intervention uh, signaling at all. No, 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 no. No, not at all. I would never do that. I mean, why? I'm not. What does that card do again? I don't know. It seems pretty bad. I think it just only gives your stuff hexproof. That's that's about it. <laughs> it seems pretty poor. For two green mana. Actually, for two green mana, everything hexproof isn't that bad. Yeah, you know, I thought about running it in here, but um, I needed to make more room for Samurai. Oh, likely story. Yeah. Let's see. I'm not sure though why that card's green instead of white. Yeah. yeah. Man, I mean, the hexproof I get. I saw that. I was like, man, that's a really good. <laughs> that's a really good card. And it's just like it's like it's not gone down in price. And yeah. it's just like. It will when it goes out of standard. Yeah. Is it seen any standard play? I thought it was almost exclusively EDH at this point. I was thinking it was commander. Like, I, maybe it'd see some standard play, but I mean, it's it's just counter target board wipe. I mean, yeah. it, now that we're talking about it, God, I wish I would have put it in here. I can't believe yeah. I forgot that. Which card? Heroic <laughs> Intervention. Heroic Intervention? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sweet Yeah, card. I forgot to put it in here. I got so samurai sword training focus that I forgot. PG, you're going real low. Well, that just confirms it's in your hand. Yeah. Uh, there are a couple life linkers in this deck. I would love to find them. I like it. Keep going. Greatness at any cost. <laughs> oh boy. 
Oh this no, guy does, my this creature! Guy does not have lights for days. <sighs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I approve. You. <laughs> I, I knew I you were full of shit. Activate the thing. Activate your uh, your oblivion. I'm gonna. This is. <laughs> Dang it. This no, is... wait, wait, hold on. Wait for the spell to resolve first. No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that seems bad. It's not that bad. It it's not great. It's okay. You get a little resolve. It'll go to the graveyard. Then you can. Well, we got to see what he, what Eli is doing first. Maybe he's gonna mess with you too. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna run that. Uh, what's the white mana? The memory lapse. No, I guess he's not. No, oh yeah. The memory oh, lapse. Uh, uh, lapse of certainty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, about it. I thought about it. All right. Mostly just so I get count. What the? <laughs> oh, and PJ, you're gonna stack. get it now, bud. All right, <laughs> we're getting. Let's, let's go. Let's, now where's let's go where's Eli's? Now. Eli, let's see it. Come on. <laughs> Look at that stack. Ugh. Why can't I do this? Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, oh God. Five, yeah, yeah the board then... was looking a little bit cluttered, so it'll be. This is this is where it just comes crashing down for me now. Yep. <laughs> Hmm. Why is it not letting me use my wafer? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I had. Oh, okay. Yeah, I seven. You have eight. I have. Yeah, I thought PG had one more. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> like, oh, oh man, it really <laughs> phases you out. Like you're just gone. Oh yeah. 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 My cards that's, do not exist. That's cool. Poor samurai. Oh, oh goodness. What did they do? Nothing. And I, I tried to bluff it so well too. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> we were all really buying it. Uh, I thought I had you sold. <laughs> At least my lanes are hexproof now. You had me sold. I wasn't even thinking about it. Yeah, it, it, it was <laughs> I, the I hugest, hugest signal. Stone. Like that, that oblivion stone is a real big problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since that Oblivion Stone, I had Demonic Tutor, and I was like, mm, yeah, let's go ahead and let's go yeah. for it. I kind of regret since... running the Thran Dynamo out, but yeah. oh well. Especially since Andrew wasn't really under, under any pressure. He could just sit there and keep putting counters on everything. Yep. <sighs> All right. Um, where's Teferi's Protection? <laughs> Not in your list. <laughs> Until your next turn. All right, so yeah, I can't swing into you. Nope. You can mill me. That's about the only thing you can do. Uh, I thought you have hexproof. Uh, oh, you, you can use like an everybody mill kind of thing. Mm, yeah. Someone explained to me how someone was under the fairy's protection and they still milled them out and then they they drew from an empty library okay. on their turn. Okay. I think something like a sky scribing or something that where everyone draws. Yeah, because your library is still technically there, and I think so is your graveyard. It's yeah. just you and your permanence, it seems to be. Right. Yeah. Most graveyard things, though, target the player first. True, but like uh, like reanimate. You could reanimate um, yeah. yep. and be fine. But Or like mass hand disruption, like a, a nerd. Yeah. That works, too. Yeah. All right. Somebody's going to avenge the, the, the fallen samurai. Saskia? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Is it, four, is it four mana? Yeah. We'll see. And then I don't know who Sasuke is pointing at, but she might be pointing at the person who activated Oblivion Ring. You had like 40 power worth of stuff on the field. If we weren't doing anything. We were having a meeting. You were just, just <laughs> casually, a casual <laughs> gathering. Hmm. Sam I don't know. Me. Joel, I don't know how you had the discipline to like not attack with all of your creatures. I was just trying to. Uh, I thought me and Muster were friends. That's why he was, I didn't trying, to, he was trying to appease, appease me. <laughs> I was just trying to make sure that nobody. Uh, where is it? Yeah, we're, we're going. Uh, I was trying to make Ooh, sure. Double like, damage, goodness. Yeah, we're Ooh, rough. She's pointing at you. She's mad. Well, I'm not falling for this because every time we do this, Eli wins. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Every time. <laughs> I've won once. What's 
I was looking at that Just one card the time. other day. What is it? Bitter Feud. It's the uh, yep. red enchantment that makes two players double damage to yep. each other. <laughs> I just want to run that now. Just be like, all right, you guys have a blood feud. You guys fight. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I want to run that with uh, Right of the Raging Storm, mm. which is like my new favorite card. That one's a good one. I want to use the new Battle Bond one, the red enchantment where you exile the top card of each opponent's library. It's like oh, stolen like stolen goods. It's six mana, and you can cast it and pay, I think, any mana for it until the end of turn. Uh, that looks like a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. That's it's stolen go goods? Yeah, stolen goods from uh, Battle Bond. Is it a... It's an enchantment. Well, stolen stolen goods is it's the the blue one. Okay, then I'm I'm misremembering the name of it, but it's uh, it's stolen. six mana, six mana from Battle Bond, red enchantment, rare. It's, oh, stolen uh, strategy. That's there we go. Card. Yeah. It's okay. Five mana at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of each opponent's library until end of turn. You may cast all land cards from among those exiled cards, and you may spend mana or any uh, mana of any color to cast those spells. Oh, yeah. that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a lot yeah, of fun. Pretty cool. Has anybody played? Um, Battle Bond yet? No, no. Uh, my shop didn't get the pre-release kit, and oh, okay. uh, yeah, but I would have been yeah. down. It, it I was looks gonna play, but I've been I've been a little bit under the weather the past few days, so kind of yeah, coughing like crazy. So hmm. it looks looks like it'd be a lot of fun. In fact, I always do this. I always get into these like I want to build a cube mode, even though mm -hmm. I don't have any like paper people. But I'm like yeah. I'm looking at Battle Bond. I'm like, man, that'd be a really fun like. To a it, giant cube to build. I think it yeah. would be neat. There's just a lot of fun interactions that they put in that that like I feel like that set was yep. done really really well. I haven't yeah. given I haven't had enough time to dig deep into the set, but like yeah. it looks good. I know yeah, people criticize the, the art. The look, all the cards look really interactive. Yeah, it just looks like a lot of fun. Just like real like you have a lot of swingy cards, cards that you can do this one turn and then that happens and I mean it's just real kind of like you know I. I I don't like a huge, like collected company in in standard and stuff like that. You know, just yeah. kind of like that roll the dice thing. I'm not a huge fan yeah. of that, but like in a setting that's where you're like, hey, I want to have fun. Like it's more about the experience than anything. I'm glad that they printed that set and kind of yeah. went outside the box with the field. Like, what is it? Like gruesome encore? No, what's that encore card? Uh, thrilling encore. Yes. <laughs> That's just so good. Just five man in response to board wipe. Hey, everybody, yeah. come on. Well, you do it after because it's when all it's yeah. like basically a grim return for everything. Yeah. What color is it? Uh, black. It's black. It's thrilling encore. Uh, four colorless black instant speed. Uh, put onto the battlefield under all. Um, put onto the battlefield under your control all creature cards and all graveyards that are put there from the battlefield this turn. Oh wow! Yeah, it seems yeah. Good. It's it's pretty neat. It's just like an instant army in a can, and I love it. <laughs> yeah. So we got Eli's got Elspeth coming down. That's uh, got the soldier army going too. How, how did you feel about your deck, Eli? I think Eli's disappeared. He's gone. Where is he? He's gone. Where'd, where'd he go? Eli. Yep. Oh, there you go. I was, uh, I was seeing. Uh, how, how do you how do you feel about your deck? Did you have any time to kind of play test it? Uh, what's that play test? No. <laughs> what is what, what, what is that word? I don't I don't understand. I should I should have, but I'm like, yeah, why start now? Yeah, exactly. That's the right answer. Hey, a knight! I found <laughs> one. You did it. With I'm my proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Aww. Let's, let's, let's give PJ some gold stars. Just gotta let him. We just have to let him live for another what, eighteen turns, and he dies to Frexian Arena anyway. So. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Let's play uh, uh, play Mana Crypt, PJ, and then we'll see how that ends up. He's <laughs> in four turn. <laughs> that goes down real fast. Yeah. Oh man, my my Mana Crypt flips have been awful. Subpar. Uh, man, there's no better feeling in Magic than just ripping like four or five mana crypt triggers in a row like mm -hmm. just like you're like yeah i did it on purpose <laughs> i meant to i meant unless to i kept skill. that bit of luck unless you're playing darian and then you're cheering him for him to lose oh yeah, yeah for sure oh, there's a, oh there is a planeswalker on the battlefield oh uh, there is yeah we should probably do something about that 
please. No, Elspeth, Elspeth is a bit of a bit of a problem child. Yeah, Elspeth is not. She's definitely the uh, the fun police. Mm -hmm. She blows everybody up and keeps putting soldiers on the battlefield. <laughs> yeah. Super rude. I actually thought about running that, and then I just forgot to add it into my deck. Whoops. She is such a good planeswalker. You, you okay. look at yeah. her like six mana, like that's expensive, but like she no. is so dominating. What she brings to the table for six is, is easily worth yes. the cost. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She protects herself, and she wipes the board. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. I've yeah, well, never, both like, modes protect herself. Like, it's either you kill the biggest creatures that are going to kill you anyway, or you chump up. Yep. Man, I, I could go for some Phyrexian Rhea right now. I think Eli wants to protect his skull clamp fodder. <laughs> I'm, playing mono white. I'm just trying to draw some cards here. <laughs> We're a guy we sanitarian in you. It's, it's fine. You're good. That's cycling. That's different. It's kind of the same thing. So where are these knights, PJ? I thought you would have knights for days. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought too. But <laughs> so far, this thing isn't working like that. Um, What's going on here? Five I'm mana. Have... Oh boy. Uh oh. PJ. Uh oh. Why uh -oh. you gotta? Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> I got oh. this poor little junk troll. Look at him. He's just this. Just trying to make it by. He's got like a, a cauldron in one hand and some oh, no. some junk in the other. Oh no! Well, I guess my guy's dying. What will I pick? I'll pick the creepy cat person. Yes, this is my, my least favorite samurai in here. Yeah, he's <laughs> smiling cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just don't like him in here. He's really goofy looking. It's a bit weird. Okay, so we got Dictate to play around. Yep. Th that's how I feel, Dictate staring back at me, sacrifice a creature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. Like, do it, do it. It is a hard card to play around. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. I roll. found a knight. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> it is knight. All right, so maybe we can have a meeting of the tribes with no knights. <laughs> Exclusion, exclusionary. <laughs> Excluding they're the too, knights. They're too noble. They're too proper. Okay. Well, we gotta create a, a sub Discord room quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Be right back. Don't don't worry about it, PJ. Just just stay here for a few minutes. Don't worry. <laughs> At least give me the arch enemy cards or something. Nope. <laughs> oh man, if we could play Plane Chase hey, online with four player nice play. commander, that'd be great. Plane Chase is fun. It can get a bit crazy. True. I've, I've got two games that are recorded with Plane Chase that were like 15 minutes because it's just like one plane sets one person so far ahead than everyone else that and everyone happen. else spends the rest of their time and mana trying to roll away from that plane yep. and uh, the dice the dice are not forgiving. It's either that or the game goes two and a half hours. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a lot of night tokens on it and we need to swing it at Elspeth too. Do you? No, don't. We don't have to, but just trying to think political wise what if there's anything strategery strategery that that's going to be the best thing hmm. considering there's so much white and green i i hope that you guys can take care of dictator Erebos because i've got nothing well <laughs> like in my, my experience my one trick pony's in the graveyard right now <laughs> Ugin, man. Ugin. All this stuff. i'm gonna i'm gonna hope eli has something because I, I i typically uh I skimp on that a lot. <laughs> I don't run Ugin. Ugin's a dragon. This is Golem Tribal. <laughs> He's a planeswalker, man. He's not a dragon. Well, I'm running. Go I'm running the Karn go the Karn planeswalkers because he was a golem, but not. Uh... Kar like... Karn would do it. He'd yeah, Karn wouldn't be bad. We'll see what we hit. Yeah. Okay. Link. Link. I think of all the kindred spells from the Oops. new commander set, I think the white one is probably my least favorite. Really? I've been meaning to playtest it and I just haven't, but like in the right deck it looks okay, but it, I just feel like I always cut it before I ever get it into the 99. The green one is ridiculous. Um, Which one's uh, kindred, the white one? Well, kindred, there's a, it's a cycle. It's uh, from the commander, the, the um, what's kindred it called? Kindred is the white one. Kindred, kindred yeah. what? 
So basically, when it comes in, you name a creature type. Yeah, enters the battlefield, choose creature type, then for two mana activation, uh, put a divinity counter on target creature, and then each creature you control with the divinity counter on has indestructible. Yeah. Okay. But the green I one is had the... it in this deck for a minute, but yeah. my four mana cloth slot was so busy that yeah, gotta get rid of it. Yeah, the green one is is uh, in any kind of elf deck or basically any kind of green deck really. It's like a better collective calling because it's like seven mana is a lot, but you're guaranteed to hit. Presumably, if you're running one, oh boy. Oh, um, uh, well, you uh, wanted just permanents gone, so there you go. <laughs> now I have now I have mixed feelings about you, Eli. Got that colorless <laughs> counter spell. Uh, no, but I'm gonna gain a life. <laughs> oh, man. I'm actually gonna Value. Burn. I'm gonna burn more life. <laughs> I don't need life. Life's for suckers. It's for chumps. Can't find a find. Can't wait to find my life linking creature. Eli was afraid of my golem foundry. That's what it was. <laughs> I knew it. He saw it and he's like, you know what? I can't deal with it. I can't. I can't handle this. I can't it's do too it. much. It's too much. That was the last. That was the last draw. Yep, I understand. I understand. I respect you for it. Are you running the uh, the golem that gets you like a hundred golems on the battlefield? But if somebody precursor targets, golem, heck yeah, yes. precursor, heck okay, yes. Nice. <laughs> oh yes. No goodness, no. What have you done, Eli? Oh, oh, this is rough. What? I didn't do anything. You've done something. <laughs> he drew some card he wanted. Exactly. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. Okay. So there's a card that I really like, but I just, man, I don't think it... I don't think it does anything at this point. Hmm. Most of my deck. I'm clinging on tenaciously to one particular card. Um, but we'll have to see if it's worth it. I feel like it's not going to be. Sorry, it's, it's uh, I'm trying to just evaluate different things real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. This Patriarch's bidding. Mm. And, uh,. I've only got like three samurai in the graveyard, but then I'm just like I'm trying to like evaluate, like scan everybody's graveyard. Real but quick couldn't you have named like... human though? Like if you'd named human, you'd have been okay. Yeah, but I, I felt like uh... yeah, I guess technically I could get named human. I was just thinking more samurai. Yeah. Keep it on theme with. Uh... I understand, but I mean like, like tribal, like that. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still practical. I mean. Yeah. Was... They all they share a subtype. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, I could have done that. I was just still thinking of uh, thinking of that one. Oh, I should have tapped my relic of Genesis. Shoot. Oh well. I got everything cleared out. Strange how that happens. Oh, rip rap. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's still a planeswalker. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elspeth doing what Elspeth does. That's clearing the board and just go, army, go. <laughs> Avenge me. We have the rebels, the rebels are uh, rebellion right now, so we may have to start targeting that. <laughs> what? Hey, you wanted the board cleared. <laughs> you know, that, yeah, I'm glad that dictate is gone. <laughs> yeah, dictate is so brutal. <laughs> that is, uh, that's one of those cards I always get asked a lot, like, why don't you run dictate? Oh, oh there we go, must have had in the hand. Um, <laughs> It's one of those cards that I don't run in one versus one because, like, to, when you get that down, man, you just like one turn and your opponent's like, all right, good game, and they just scoop up. Yeah. And so I'm yeah. just always just like, always makes for a really, really short video. Yeah. Uh, one of the big problems for me is Butcher of Malakir because I always play a lot of flying creatures, and I'm like, well, oh, yeah. I can't attack. They just block, and then I lose all my dudes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> No. <laughs> we have little, little baby blink moth keeping us. He's in doing. Check. He's doing his work. He's he's earning his keep here. Plink, plink moth. Yep. Come on, something with lifelink. 
<laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> do you run uh, Whip of Erebus? Uh, I do, actually. Okay, okay. I love that card. Yeah, great card. I think it's probably... The oh, Bite and Pass is pretty good, too, though. Actually, the yeah, the Grixis colored ones. The green one I don't care for so much. And yeah. Spear of Heliod I don't care for so much, either. Yeah, green and white one are a little lackluster, but... Oh my goodness. The flavor win. You did it. You lived the dream. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> that was the card I drew with the uh, Gaia Reach and then oh boy. discarded it. I, I, I love the art on this one. <laughs> mm. She's how, did that, how did that come back? Uh, Hakon, man. Oh boy. Oh it's yeah. Summon the, uh, the undead army. Oh it's boy. The, it's the recurring nightmares. Oh boy. This is fun. Endless name nameless inversions and crib swaps. What? Why would you run those cards? Those sound bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> send send oh. her out. Where's my high market? <laughs> send a hake on hake on it. I was like, eh, I gotta get rid of those those uh, those soldier the, tokens. The are soldier tokens oh, are gonna add up fast. Well, there are no basics left in my deck. <laughs> yes. You run three basics. <laughs> uh, I think I, ha I have about five. Okay, oh, so two of them are in your hand. <laughs> uh, two. Are, I have two in the graveyard. Three in play. And oh one in boy. Hand. Yeah, I had to keep that off the battlefield. That, that's why it was so hard with Patriarchs. I was like, man, I just it'd be nice to uh, bring them back, but I'd like yeah. to hold them on to that one. All right, let's go. What's a good name? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and point at Elspeth. Have this <laughs> she's gonna point it and get her. Get Elspeth. Let's see. We've got Minus. One, two, three, four, six. Uh oh, Eli's counting. That's not a good sign. <laughs> no, no, I I have just seen how how many times uh, Saski has come back. Quite a bit. Just the one time. Really? I thought it was twice. Sheesh. This, this is the second time, yeah. Huh. Well, I spent a lot of early getting a bunch of samurai out. That's true. Them yeah, off you flooded then, the board. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then, Mutsu says, "Hey, there's too many samurai for my taste. I guess he's racist or just, something." I'm so. just uncomfortable with that many samurai. Too many swords. Too many pokey bits. <laughs> <laughs> so when, uh, when I did my samurai video, one thing I talked about briefly is like, "You think we're going back to Kamigawa?" Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Hard no. I mean, I hope they do. Of most of the tribes, I think Samurai would benefit the most from a return trip oh, to a yeah. plane. And I hope they do. I mean, it was just like, it was such a fun set. I mean, not a fun set. Let me rephrase that. Like, flavor-wise, I really enjoyed. Like, I hope they just don't write that plane off forever, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Find that well. Like, I still think flavor-wise, it's still something that should be revisited. At some yeah, point. it had the cool, I like the arcane and the, the spirits yeah. and all yeah. that kind of yeah. stuff. Like, that's, that's oh. cool. <laughs> Uh, kids in your gonna, path of exiles. I was gonna use it on Hakon, but you guys can blow. You guys can blow all the path of exiles you want. That's fine. That's cool. <laughs> as long as it's not on Precursor Golem, because that pretty much exiles literally all of my creatures at once for one mana. <laughs> yeah, and then I was sitting there. I was gonna do that, and I was like, "Yeah, it's gonna. That's be like a, a bunch of lanes on the battlefield too." Yeah. All right, let's go. Blood, now that path. So, is... if we target Precursor Golem with something. It, cop it copies to all golems, not just the tokens that it made? Every, right? Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell that only targets a single golem, that player copies that spell for each other golem that spell could target. Oh, okay. So you could you could pump up my golems if you want. That'd be cool. Like, you could berserk yeah. them. <laughs> and so, yeah, but if you had other non-golems uh, from Precursor, that would still apply to all of them, Yes, right? yes. Any golem okay. I play at this point moving forward, like if I cast um, uh, Karn and you cast Lightning Bolt, it'll hit gotcha. everything. Like, Lightning Bolt's going to hit everything. All right. Hit Elspeth. <laughs> it's a 
fun card to uh, target with writer of application. Oh, sure. yes. That gets out of hand very quickly. <laughs> oh, they do have it. Oh, no. Does anyone know how many copies that actually makes? It makes, like, thousands, right? Uh... Because I, I did it... I can't remember. Well, it's, I, I thought it's it's you make it, what, you do it seven times? You make seven copies? I don't think it's thousands. I think it's in, like, it's like the 40s or something like that. Because it copies it for each one, and when you target it... Because there was one time where I did Shahili's Artistry on mm -hmm. the precursor. And so that's technically kind of like double. Yeah. I think well, you could... the problem... Is, so... Uh, what would happen... If you the first because you have more golems by the, the second time it resolves, right? Yeah. So, hold on. Pre I tried to look this up before. I think it's actually like a ridiculously high number. I'm sure. I'm sure you're probably right. Actually, yeah, it's good because there's the different copies on the stack. Um, precursor. Golem. Right. Oh yeah, it's one of like it's like a second Google search. Uh, Get the math degree going to figure there it out. There we go. Like I'm not good with math. You know this. <laughs> so you have me like 40 points of damage. There's a Google Doc apparently that explains it quite well. You get five it. precursor co token golems and 20 more golem tokens without abilities. So, a single kicked right of replication will leave you with 27 golem tokens, or sorry, 27 golems, six of which are precursors. But if you do it again, you get four million. Ah, I see. So, just, okay. just, just 4 million. That's fine. Do you, do you mind checking the math for us? Nope. Maybe? Hard pass. <laughs> Hard pass. Oh, no. The, this is disintegrated very badly. Hmm. Really? I thought it integrated. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, it's afraid of that. This, this is... <laughs> I love that the PJ's been just hit with nothing but Sword of Feast and Famines all day. Yeah, pretty much. I was an adolescent at the beginning of the game. Now I've reached my teenage years. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm rebelling. Got You're that. Right. Got that. Um. Oh, I can't. I can't even think of a punk rock name band. This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. We ha we handed the mic to Mutt's and just uh. uh -huh. <laughs> Blink, blink one eight, blink one eight two. My yeah, wife has, has kindly, kindly helped. Some. I don't think they're the punk A Green Day. There we go. Green Day shirt, and he's got like the anarchy symbol on him now. <laughs> he's got a clothespin in his ear. Got the chain wallet. Done the done the Jello hair dye. <laughs> you guys ever see the movie SLC Punk? Uh, nope. Uh, it's a wonderful movie from way back when. What's it called? SLC Punk. SLC. Salt Lake City Punk. Oh, okay. No, I've never seen it. Uh, it's from like 99, I think, or 2000. Uh, yeah, 98. Matthew Lillard. Yep. And uh, it's just about two kids that are like hard punk rockers and. Salt Lake City. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's a funny it's a funny movie. There's some funny stuff in there. Oh, it's got what's his name in it. I don't know his name, but I recognize him. It's got what's uh, his Matthew name. Matthew Lillard in it? and Devin Sawa, I think, are the two most recognizable people in the movie yeah okay we've just the, the, the rebellion armies but it's three versus one now whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's crazy jack i just what are you talking about what? don't worry about that why I mean, the question is, do I ancient tomb again to use this Gyre Reach Sanitarium? I well, oh no, man, I won't get it'd anything. Be, it would be fitting. <laughs> It'd be crazy. But to say, I'll get to look at a card, then I'll immediately have to discard it. And be like, I could have had that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I did like, this. Like land drops. Uh, oh man. Yeah, maybe I'll wait. Codex Shredder. That's a sweet card. Ooh, okay. I love that card in uh, Duretti. Yeah, it does a lot. So we're looking at bringing something back. 
Oh. I could have. I was considering going for. Um, ugh. Do I want to? No. Um, I was considering going for just draw, but I feel like Eli's going to start smacking us in the face. Uh, yeah, that's almost a certainty. <laughs> yeah. I love the the sergeant on the battlefield. It looks like a an aerobics instructor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Smack in the face? No, I'm, I'm a teenager. You just get a sullen stare. <laughs> Some under the breath. Can't believe you did that. Oh, I hate you guys. I wish I had gone for that patriarch spitting now. Yeah. <laughs> really bad. Hindsight's twenty twenty. I have I have discard remorse. <laughs> so the buyer's remorse. It's kind of the same thing. It is. <laughs> um, so I haven't seen solo yet, but other than like giving anything away. Um, Thank you. Ooh. So. I will allow this. You got a counter spell up? Yes. <laughs> I got Warping Whale in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like I don't. Um, oh, but with Solo, other than, like, you know, giving anything away, like, was it enjoyable? Was it good? Like... I, I like I like all Star Wars movies. I just like the Star Wars universe. So, like, I went in. Yeah. Uh, we saw it. I had fun. That's okay. really that's really all I want to say about it because I don't want to. Okay, I'll give you a little I... bit more. Uh, I enjoyed it, but it's not quite as good as the other ones. I think. Okay. But I think no, that's it's... that's that's a matter of taste, though. Too. I mean, like if if someone let's say doesn't like Jedi's, then Han okay. Solo might have more of an appeal to them because it's not as centric. Like it's not like. It's not like the other the other Star Wars movies where it's always focused on like Jedi and like lightsabers yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just really glad they're doing more more movies like this. I mean, like my only concern, rich yeah, my only concern is that they're going to oversaturate it. I think having yeah. one, literally, like one or two a year, is probably too much. Like, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a lot. And then we also have the what the trilogy that's coming out after this trilogy. Plus, they're saying that like uh, Wait, the guy, doing, they're doing like they're doing sequels. 10 12? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Ryan John or Ryan, whatever his name is, is doing. He's he's been given sort of the go ahead to do his other ones, but like, I could be wrong. Maybe they changed it, but it's it's a lot. Like that's that's a lot. Yeah. You killing Elspeth? Uh, I'm putting it to one. It's the best I got. Gosh darn it! You got that If I'd known, I would have attacked. Whoops! Oh well. She's already in the underworld in the storyline. Come on, man. Look that's true. Wrong. Well, spoilers, Eli. Spoilers. Whoops. <laughs> I wasn't actually sure what I was gonna do in my turn, but then I saw Eli had that uh, exile black creature. Yeah. You know, yeah. That uh, that would not be good for you. Although I guess I drew the lightning grief, so maybe I didn't have to do that. I don't know. I think it cleared the way for a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Back. Sticker prize. Swords to plowshares. <laughs> Here it comes. At this point, I think I think PJ is going to basically thwart swords to plowshares one of his own creatures just to gain that life. He needs it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not out of the question. No. Nope. <laughs> Where's that whip of Erebos, baby? <laughs> I, need, I need it. I mean, there are twenty-two creatures in this deck, and I've seen one, two, three of them. I think. Yeah. There it oh. is. <laughs> oh, Corey. <laughs> Not uh. today. <laughs> I got to start playing. I got to run that card more. God, that is brutal. It's an expensive yeah. maze, but yeah. But it's it makes mana, mana, which is like the big yeah. thing. I don't run maze a lot because of the yeah, no lack mana of mana. <laughs> if, if maze and Diamond Valley top for mana, oh my god. Yeah, I'd be thrilled. Mm. But I mean, I run Diamond Valley in Kerador, so I usually have Urborg out with it. Yep. So it's not the end of the world, but yeah. Feels like the meme. Leave Brittany alone, but leave Espel alone. <laughs> no. 
There was a guy at my sh my local shop that has a fully loaded lands deck. Oh boy. Uh -huh. And I mean, he's got everything, and it's just I mean, he's got all of the uh, prevent damage lands. So mm -hmm. like, it doesn't matter how many creatures you have, you just cannot get through for damage. Yeah, the glacial glacial chasm, I think it is. Yeah. Or chasm. Yeah, he's got all. He's got a bunch of ways yeah. to get him back from the graveyard. Yeah. So even if you blow up a couple of the key ones, like, and then he just uh, uses divine intervention, which is so frustrating. Yep, that's a goodie. <laughs> I need some of that draw. Yeah, it, to the yep. people at home, I just completely skipped over Core Haven. I was just wrapped up in solo talk. I didn't realize there was a fog effect. I was like, all right, I'm going to clean up Elspeth and we'll need to go. And I was like, oh, uh, all right. Uh, now he's I know so, what that card does. He's uh, he's two planes away from America being active. Yeah. Yeah. Who's got their strip mine? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Actually, I probably do. Somewhere. I mean, your deck it would make sense because you know there's no color issues. So. Yeah. Run all the land destruction. Yeah, I've got Ghost Quarter, and I got most of them actually. Except Wasteland. Wasteland's way too expensive. Hmm. It's only like twenty bucks in paper now, though. It's twenty. It really? It's that low in paper? Yeah. Well, it was. Uh, it was in Eternal Masters. It. Uh, wow. It really tanked. Wow. I have a Caracas that uh, you know kind of bit the dust. Yeah, but it doesn't really see any play in EDH either way, though. Yeah, well, yeah it's not legal in EDH, but it was big in Legacy and went I from, think, like, 110 to 60 or something. I think they could unban that. In Commander? Yeah. I don't think so, man. That tap a land, bounce someone's Commander? Well, it's it's tap, it's pay one what? It's pay white and tap it? Is it pay white? Hold on, I think it's on my desk. Let me look at that real quick. I got it right here. Uh, No, mm. it's just tap it. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe that's a little too strong, then. It may, yeah, yeah, it's it just white bounce. Turn, bounce target legend. Yeah. Uh, any enchantments are destroyed. Yeah, that would... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's probably a little too strong. Yeah. Uh, that'd get pretty old pretty quick. Yes, it would. It's kind of like before they changed the rule, like, blue would run the clone effects in there. Yeah. Yep. And you could just... I just remember thinking, like, every time that would happen, I remember thinking, like, I cannot wait for them to change this rule. That is such BS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit too easy to just like, because the clone effects don't target, right? So yeah. even if you have boots on, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah I just remember it. thinking like, and the people are mad, like, oh, okay, please. I'm like, it's just blue shouldn't have just a two mana kill your commander no matter what. Right. Blue or blue already has enough tools. Yeah. yeah. Just two mana, just wreck your board. So I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been playing some mono white, and every time I play mono white, I just get crushed. Hmm. Um, mono white's hard. Yeah. yeah, mono white needs I think two card draw spells, and it'll be significantly better. Yeah. I think they need yeah. a harmonize type of card, and something that draws like probably for like number of like soldiers or whatever that you control. Something it, like it'd probably than... be more related to life. Life seems to be more of white's thing rather than the amount of creatures. Green is more like draw yeah. equal to X. Right, some sort yeah. of, like, conditional, if you do this, you get to draw a lot of cards kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think two good draw, two good draw spells would, you know, give yeah, White a, a better time. A better it's pretty time clunky. Time. You know, it you, you puts you in a spot to where you're almost just kind of, like, you having to run the stuff like Sunset Pyramid. And... Yeah. Stuff you don't really want to be running. Yeah, right. it's just real clunky. Yeah. But like, the thing is, it's like, I mean, you're almost forced to play equipments and use things like Skull Clamp and Mask of Memory just because... That's the way that you have to draw cards. Like through. Eli, why'd you discard strip mine? You could blow up your own thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. F six, F six. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. The fatigue uh, is wearing in. <laughs> uh, well, the reason they haven't given white card draw is because it already can interact with so many of the permanents. So it would probably kind of push it over the top. But so can every other color. Like I built a green deck that is entirely removable. Yeah, they've made green a little bit too strong in the modern times, that's for sure. And I mean, blue, because there's enough colorless things that take care of enchantments now that, like, even the colors that can't deal with it now can. You have Ugin, Oblivion Stone, um, uh, what's the other one? There's another one. Uh, All is Dust, like, so colors have access to things that they should not have access to. Mm -hmm. So at that point, why don't you should just balance everything out because 
The color pie is no longer relevant in Commander. Yeah. Yeah, they've kind of bled it too much. Oh, if we could only just pump that up by one. <laughs> that Colossus is pretty big. Yeah. With his sweet defender. Oh, yes. So good. <laughs> Watch out. Sink that 10 mana into it. <laughs> oh, shoot. I forgot Eli's got the uh, flyer. That Let's was think. bad. <laughs> magic, well, we is, just... magic is hard. Yeah. Stop talking about that. Solo. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that the solo movie has just wrecked me and you like I'm our just, turn. We're just like we lose the ability to function toss, in magic. Toss the game, PJ. You gotta win it. Win it. Win it all. <laughs> I'll try, man. I don't know. There's another land. Ugh. Yeah, uh, I, I, my last one draws have just been lands, and it's so so defeating. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't know what I could draw at this point that would help. I'm like, just give me something. It's just like. Do you like the card that you have? Me. Yeah. In the hand? Yeah. Uh, I'm not tied to it. No. Uh, not at all. I don't need it. It's not, it would, would not help the board state other than make me, like, do a land drop. I see. All right. Um, <laughs> it's a land. Is that like, a, is that like a, a mecha horse? What is that underneath it? It's like a rhino with armor. Oh, oh love yeah. it. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. The, the golf nice. cart, baby. <laughs> there yeah, you go. You get the official golf cart. The light wielder <laughs> paladin. Why is Perfect. it? Does uh... combat damage to a player exile target black or rip? <laughs> it's pretty wild. I love it. Yeah, man. It's a pretty sweet ability. Uh oh. Put them booties on. Now nah, you're now nah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, <laughs> I am not looking to make enemies at the moment. Yeah, I mean at this point you're gonna have to force Eli to use the the Haven. Or is this in a source to plowshares or everything? <laughs> it's welcome to the EDH Lounge Tribal Wars versus Elspeth. <laughs> <laughs> Arch enemy against Elspeth. <laughs> oh god, counting again, Eli? <laughs> I, love, I love the fear that just runs through Mudsta as like just any numbers sort of are bad. There's never a good situation where numbers come you up should, and we're like, you should yeah. never yes. be counting. Yeah. Wait, how much mana do I have? Oh, twenty. Wait, I win. Oh, Perfect. yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna see that that four mana path to exile and a cast thing. Oh yeah, was it that? Oh, what is that? Settle one? the wreckage. You yeah, settle the wreckage. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would be brutal against me right now. There are no lands in the stack. Yeah, I thought. Don't about, tell him that. Last cards I cut. <laughs> uh... Don't tell him that. <laughs> He'd be like, "Yeah, I need some more basics. It's all good." Yeah, I get all the basics. <laughs> Whoops. Poker face. Got to make. Yeah, I gotta, gotta, face. Ooh, they can't even see you when you're not doing it well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I don't play poker. Exactly. So I can do that. Whatever, we can just time Eli out. It's fine. Just keep making him just, do math. Yeah. <laughs> Problem solved. Does he let it go? Where'd it go? It's on Eli, Eli never lets it go. It's hiding behind his. It's hiding behind yeah. the oh, even Rift yeah. Watcher. Don't worry about it. It's just hiding. Ah, oh, finally it goes down. All right. Bye, Elspeth. <laughs> hey man, I just wanted to draw some cards. Yeah, she certainly did that. It was a land stumbling. Oh I man. Did, uh... I had to draw six cards in one turn before I could find one planes. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, you dug pretty far with Skull Clamp too. That, that's always. Yeah. Skull Clamp and Elspeth is just. Oh. Best friends yeah. forever. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Something good. Let's go. Oh. One of the best ways to draw cards yeah. in white, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we don't need you because I'm not drawing any knights. There we go. That is not a land card, so I will keep it. Two, three, four, five. Uh, I guess I'll discard. 
I like how you have to, you have to, we usually typically do it in order. Like everyone does it at once as opposed to this where it's like. Yeah, everyone kind of. Everyone yeah. does it in order. Yeah. All right, let's see what we rip into. I need you to I need you to kill his oh. even thing, because otherwise I'm gonna lose Oblivion Stone. This is so 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 needed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> how, are gonna, how are you gonna lose Oblivion Stone? Why do you, what do you I wonder? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. I could go for like a gain forty. You guys are still in your thirties. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, that, right. that is. I'm just telling you, it's like yeah. I had water, and it just. If only if you had Thali out on the field, you could actually pay four and draw four. Oh. Misplays, misplays for days. <laughs> Wait, what? How would you okay. draw? Okay, because Thalia makes it cost one more. Oh, Thalia. So he okay, would in, yeah, yeah. he would in turn be able to pay that whatever color he hadn't. Yep. So I think in this case it would be red. Yeah. Were they all lands? Well, that uh, yeah, they were all lands. <laughs> Okay. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have put that in this deck. Yep. Well, he's on a knight. He's not you even... Know. He's not a samurai either. What is this? <laughs> he's a human. God, only, Eli, only Eli and I are, are, are adhering to the true theme and spirit of this game. <laughs> I, I did some patriarch's bidding to, to keep on theme with samurai. Uh... Can't see it, but I'm shaking my head at you in shame. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Core Haven. Yeah. Swing in, that's going to be a for sure activation. Swing in, Spare, that's going to knock you down. Well, you we can, can just P straight up just can... run. You can run it at PJ. I still take four. You don't want to do that. <laughs> this, uh, this light wielder paladin's been real friendly. He can I mean, uh... continue to be friendly. Yeah, just, uh, PJ put his gun on the table. <laughs> just now, I was just, yeah, I was quickly kind of a bit aggressive. <laughs> BJ just said, I'm not going to use the gun, but hey, I'm just going to put it on the table. Yeah. I, want, I want people to know the make, the model, the type, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you're running it into my 1010 indestructible? Oh, it's got menace. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow the hit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Do I allow it, though? Do I want to take four? Wait, who's he attacking? I can't tell. It's got two he's, players, he's attacking huh? me. I'm attacking mud stuff. And then she's pointing at uh, Eli. Eli, okay, that makes sense. Uh, so you go to thirty-one. I like imagining that she's running across over at Mudsta, but she's still keeping that that left arm pointed at at Eli. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like don't look, don't lose sight. Calling you out. Let's do this. Pointing the fingers. Look, looking at devotion, devotion. Oh, well, I might actually be able to turn on devotion sometime soon. That'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Got four, five, five devotion, which I, ne I never would have thought that. <laughs> it let me it let me choose. I was like, okay, let's block the task. Yeah, and then it gives you the little error message at the it's bottom. It's like, no, no, clear like, a second no, one. Sir. Magic Online, it just wants you to like. <laughs> what a te what a tease! It's like dummy. <laughs> the Magic Online goes on. Whoa! All right, we got Core Haven. Oh, I think we know where we're going. <laughs> yeah, that Amari is about to uh, start getting friendly too. You know where you're going. Hopefully not. I'm just excited to well, get So Eli's got seven cards in hand compared to our like. We we, we don't four, even have five. seven put together. <laughs> yeah, I know. We've got five between the three of us. I'm playing mine away. Come on, man. You don't need those cards. You don't need those cards. Yeah, you got a lot of work done with the skull clamp. You know, it's all I wanted. It's all I else was fun to do. One, two. And we can go. Let's go one. Flip arena. It's from black and green, which is my entire board state. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty big haven. Yep. Yeah.
I get excited for a second that you tap down Corehaven. I was like, oh yeah, we got sort of decent payment coming down. <laughs> oh yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> What's he got? Five oh, mana? Man. There she is. Elspeth on Elspeth. <laughs> get more and more. This is Elspeth Tribal. We've been we've been we've been, <laughs> we've been tricked. I knew a kid that ran uh, Chandra Tribal mm -hmm. before they changed the Planeswalker rule. Okay. Oh. Still made it work though. He's using yeah. things like Pulse of the Forge and just like got it back every turn and just kept burning. Yeah. I'm at Mudstone. I wonder why. Is that the Oblivion Stone uh, from your hand? 100% no, no. the Oblivion Stone from my hand. <laughs> <laughs> no reasons. Oh, it has flying. Okay, I was like... Yeah. <laughs> for a second, it didn't look like a card that would have flying, because... I'm really, really bad about reading. Yeah, well, just looking at like if a card doesn't look like it has flying, I'd assume yeah. it doesn't have flying, and if it looks like it has flying, I assume that it would. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, like it's even, so it's yeah, it should be a no-brainer, which is why it's stupid that I swung the Blink Moth Nexus into it. But is <laughs> Han Solo, Han Solo talk just got pretty the best much of us. just walked right into it. Uh, whoops, I'm going to use my tree net over there. So. Uh, okay, so that takes Oblivion Stone. Can anyone change the color of permanence to black or red? Yeah, no. Well, oh, actually, if, we're, little... if someone's playing Urza's, what, like Urza's sunglasses or whatever? Uh, I think that only changes lands. Oh, there's one of them that can change things to red. Okay, yeah. I think I know which one you're talking about. I think it makes mountains... Plains in the mountains or something like that. Well, there's that one which switches, like your planes tap for mountains, your mountains tap for this, and something else taps for that. But, um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, we have to agree on something that he doesn't control. Yeah. Okay. Puts for non there permanent. Eli voted for Hakon or Hakon. Uh, what, what are you thinking about? Yeah, everyone just vote for Hakon. <laughs> Seems like the safest bet. Yeah, let's just go for Hakon. Cause I don't know what what else do you have in your graveyard that you could bring back that's relevant. Literal nothing at this yeah. point. At the moment, yeah. Because I have not drawn any knights. Yeah. <laughs> One of the ideas I thought about for this deck, too, was trying to build around all the, the paladin cycle. Mm -hmm. I am just trying to hate on certain colors. Um, <laughs> and the, uh, the, the, the cabals that counter spells of certain colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that deck would need a lot of playtesting to be any kind of playable. Yeah, game. too relevant. And then, like, I don't know what colors they're going to show up with, and then if I don't draw the color that I need when I need it, it's just going to look real bad. And then, obviously, against you, it would have no impact. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. Jury's still out on that one. It's a goodie. It is. Yes. I want to see that Colossus get fired up. Yeah. I always love imagining paying that cost and then just like feeling it just come down like that. I was playing my Gishat deck one time and someone slammed the uh, the Colossus and then I realized <laughs> that like I had no way to get through the Colossus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And they're like, here, can you get through that? Nope, nope I can't. No. Good luck. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. Uh... And then, then the Eldrazi followed, and then the game was over. <laughs> I'm like, wait, aren't my dinosaurs supposed to be like the biggest thing on the planet? Nope. <laughs> Why is there a 2020? I don't understand. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. That's not how this is supposed to go. Indestructible. So you go for the fling. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Come on, let's go, let's go. Use something useful. All right, it's a creature. Creatures are cool. So we need to, we need to get rid of that sword if he's in famine. I got nothing for that currently. Yeah, neither do I. Um... That's Ooh. a fun one. Got Sun Titan okay. coming down. Yeah, I drew that last turn off the uh, Gyre Reach. What's it getting? <laughs> Something good. It's going to bring back a planes, just a basic planes. <laughs> Take a look. I'll tell you what, man, you can win games just by getting lands back with Sun Titan. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness, you are going. Deep. Huh? Oh, that life, that life loss, life lost on deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, something weird is happening with my lightning greaves. <laughs> Why? They're on, they're on the Sunday. Yeah, they, I don't know. It, like, there was a little bit of lag, and then it was like I activated it again. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it got weird. Uh, I'd like to <laughs> think that things got weird. Just, he just activates it a hundred times. <laughs> you keep moving it back out. and forth all well, day. It's like the, um, there's like some creatures where they get pumped by activated abilities. You just like switch them back and forth a million times. He's like, it's free real estate. Exactly. <laughs> Value. Oh, let's see. Oh, maybe I should have went with the land first. Just, yeah. just go for go for that ancient tomb. It doesn't matter. Go for it. Yeah, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Just take, just take the two. It's fine. Ooh. Ooh, got a Linda. Got life, and, baby. And that scry, my goodness. Value for days. I sequenced everything properly. Perfectly. Okay. Flawlessly. New, new enemy at the table. What? It's, it's <laughs> no, still, it's still the eye. <laughs> I'm still like, just about dead. <laughs> It still makes me laugh when we did block constructed and we just left PJ alone. <laughs> oh my gosh! In the strengths of the dead, that uh, that car oh, will yeah. go nowhere. Yeah, we don't need to worry fine. about that. Then just yeah, uh, everything's fine. Everything is fine. I've it started running me, that card more as a result of that game. Yeah. Yep. It reminded me of in the zombie movies, like me, me, <laughs> Mutz and Eli, like we're holed up in the room or whatever, and somebody just left the back door open and zombies. Like a back in. window. It's just like you know what? Yeah. Like it's fine. Like the breeze is nice. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen. It's okay. It's a little stuffy in here, and this. Uh oh. I told <laughs> you you shouldn't have left it open. Whoops. <laughs> Group hunt. What you getting? You're probably just a land this time. Yep. <laughs> land tax is a lot of use. Ah, expedition map's okay. Yeah, let's just get a land. We need an expedition map. I don't think there is. Actually, yeah, let's get expedition. Map. We get the expedition map. <clears throat> yeah, is there something whatever. really good with the expedition map you can find? Uh, there might be more utility this... lands left. Actually, there might be like a strip mine. Strip mine? Probably... Strip mine? Yeah, because <laughs> we need to get that core haven out of here. If you're bringing Expedition Mac back, just tossing that out there. Does anyone know <laughs> if I played a land this turn, actually? Uh, I will, I'll look it up for you. That's how much I don't want core haven. <laughs> wow. Uh, Sun Titan. Yeah, I don't think you played a land. Sweet. Let's just sit at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. One away from activation off Colossus. Uh, Mishra, Mishra's workshop doesn't do anything, though. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think I counted nine without it. One, okay. Two, three, yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's the 
downside the mistress workshop is i yeah. always think like all right you can use it for anything artifacts and you're just like yeah. Oh, yeah it's i understand now what's why people run urborg in the list uh mm -hmm. so that it can at least be tapped for mana that isn't exclusively yeah. for artifacts spells that makes sense. yeah but otherwise it's it's quite good Ooh, Lena getting big. <laughs> that plus one counter. Two, two, baby. Three, three. It's going to be a lot of uh, tokens, too. I just want the lifelink. That's yep. what I'm here for. Cannot tell you how nice it was to draw into that painful truce. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Refilling your hands like, real good. I was like mentally just like, bull. I was mentally just, oh, no. Could be another basic forest. <laughs> Wait, is it not in here? PJ. Well, I don't appear to have strip mine, but I have something else that could be is useful. Is it ghost quarter, please? Something? Uh, no. So I apparently oh, went with no uh, land room. Oh, PJ. Oh, oh no. You're lucky you're oh. so handsome. But I did bring I did bring this to the party. Okay. That's a that's a little okay. Sure. Yeah, I didn't I didn't put them in because of the uh, of how tight the color restrictions are. Yeah, you, you're uh, you're yeah. pretty, but you put in ancient tomb. <laughs> yeah, that's that's acceleration, man. You I can't, suppose. You can't I suppose. Acceleration. It's also like you know suicide because I've probably done like. 20 to myself you've done at least half the damage dealt to you this game <laughs> yeah. through arenas and ancient tombs i i need to not play black man whenever it's whenever i play black i just end up killing myself yep. like drawing cards and playing yep. ancient that's the right way to do it though that's what black does yeah you gotta leave it all on the battlefield <laughs> i'm gonna necro for 15 erebos every time i play erebos i go down to like six and it's all just for me <laughs> paying two at the end of turn to draw a card yep <laughs> Okay. Oh, Condas Hatamo Hatamoto? Is that how you say that? I think so. Hatamoto? Hatamoto? Sounds right. So what's it like to have cards in hand? <laughs> it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling. Seems, seems not bad. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. How'd that come back? It, with uh, Ravos. Uh, Ravos. Ravos, yeah. All right. That uh, that Iris is kind of, kind of beefcakey. <laughs> yeah. I guess I mean either way we're looking at an activation. Yeah. I might as well just go passive. Passive turn. Yeah, that's obviously what he meant to say. Yes. Well, I mean, because even if I swing in, we're looking at Core Haven activation either way on anybody. If you swing with three, all three of the creatures, though, you should be able to connect with at least one of them, presumably. Oh, never mind. Excuse me. <laughs> I know. Math is hard. I know. I feel no, you. I, was, I feel you, bud. I was thinking Core Haven stopped all combat damage by it's, everything. It's okay, really maze. It's maze of it. It's not fog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you said that because I was about to just strictly just pass the turn. Oh my goodness, my, the my comments the comments would not be kind <laughs> to you, sir. My brain has just turned into mush. What? Uh oh. Oh, oh no. No. Uh -oh. Colorless counterspell. What targeted? What what is Karn targeting? Skullcat. Turning into a creature so it dies. And and the sword, and the sword. Oh, fancy. Karn does tricky stuff. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, I can't really do anything against that. That's that's happening no matter what. 
Um, one, two, three, four. Well, I still can. All right. I don't even know what to get at this point. Like, yeah. Uh, this was the weird part of the game where like everyone has so much mana that like it really yeah. comes down to like we'll go making this. multiple big plays instead of you know yeah. just one. Jolt with like a million ways to make his stuff indestructible. I don't run <laughs> I don't run heroic intervention. That's a bad card. <laughs> I'm on to you, buddy. I'm on to you. Oh, I feel so sad without Boros Charm. Yeah, Boros Charm is amazing. Oh, look Ooh. at all those triggers. You are gonna get you are gonna get a lot of vampires, sir. Uh oh. You have stacked it incorrectly. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, it doesn't shit. Well, I think technically you either way, you'd have to have a Linda on the battlefield to get the counters on there. But well no. Oh yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. okay. I was gonna say because you want to put her death trigger first, but we'll see. We'll see. Mm, it's right. MTGO, so who knows? It could be buggy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess you only got three. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Most importantly, they still have lifelink. <laughs> yeah, that's relevant right now. Yeah. <laughs> I did the I got Boros Charm in. <laughs> <laughs> Those effects are really powerful. Yeah. Like it, yes, they are. I've actually thought about running um, Eerie Interlude because it's, it's very similar. It's not quite indestructible. Yeah. But what is it? Eerie Interlude. Which one's that one do? Uh, it's like a ghost way, but oh, it's like, oh, it's it's the white flicker thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's like ghost way, but you can target it a little bit better, I think. Hmm. I kind of now wish that Eli did have a graveyard because he's no longer the threat. No, I, I just, did y'all already forget about how much Elspeth was on the battlefield? Have we already? There were a lot of Elspeths. There were a lot. Of, okay. I have a, I have a very short term memory. Like I just, <laughs> just in one year out the other. Of... I'm just building an Elspeth, an anti Elspeth army. That's all mm. I'm doing. I will not. All it did for was most part cards. attack y'all. It just drew cards. <laughs> uh huh. Well, that forest charm was bad. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, I was hoping to get one more expedition map before that sun titan thing. Yep. <laughs> it's always like, uh, you always forget about the indestructible part on that one. It's always, you know, Naya burn in modern, just send four damage up top, and then, yeah. Well, indestructible is the, the most, probably the most common mode for commander. I don't, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone use any of the other modes. Maybe the double strike once, but everything else is just always. Double yeah. strike is good in a Voltron deck. Like I've used it occasionally with Aurelia. Yeah. Um, the the four damage is is relevant if someone has a Jason play. Or yeah. It, can you redirect it now? I don't know yeah. how that rule works now. Yeah, on the card because they changed on magic. Oh, they otherwise. did. Yeah, to target creature to player or planeswalker. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. yeah. I hate that rule. So now you have to uh, gather or search every red card ever. Yeah, yeah it's a it's yeah. a huge errata. It is a nightmare. They need to undo that immediately. Yeah. So how much do you have to pay for Saskia? She's died twice or three times at this point now, so... I think it'll be my third trip coming out. Oh, man, I'd go for an Aven Rift Watcher. <laughs> get that, that two-life... <laughs> Hmm. Well, that was a horrible Boros charm. Mm -hmm. And I am just going to die to Saskia now. Mm -hmm. seven. If you give her to Saskia, she might come and point at somebody else. I don't think that's going to happen. She might point at Mudsta. 
Yeah, look, look at that big old statue over there, unintentionally. That's a goodie. Ooh, ooh oh. an old card coming down. That's a magic card. That is a magic card. Bye, Saskia. Nice to okay. know you. Current's pretty fair in multiplayer. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's it's hard to defend. It just it takes out one, maybe two permanents. That's mm -hmm. it. Or yeah. a card, like a card, a card on the field and a card in the hand. I think is the most I've ever really gotten out of him. Yeah. But, you get but, Ugin down. Oh. Yeah, yeah Ugin's Ugin. a Ugin's a problem child. Ugin has a bad habit of dying to solemn simulacrum though. It's true. Yeah. Like, well, I can wipe everything except this solemn. That's just that's the cost, but. I do love Ugin. I'll be ordering my first paper Ugin uh, this week. Nice. Ooh, nice. I want to do the uh, the binder thing where I just put like all the really expensive stuff in a binder so that way I don't have to buy a million copies of it. Yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah. practical. Monster, do you do, do you do that or do you just kind of buy things as you need to? I just own everything. <laughs> Sounds good. Like I mean, except for the duels. Duels and, like, at this point, I was going to get my fourth cradle, but uh, it's, like, I think 500, 600 now, and uh, oh, that's just, geez. that's not going to happen. Yeah. See, you know that, two, that's, that's wild. You know what two got crazy over the past year was uh, Survival of the Fittest yep. and Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I have two wheels and two survivals, but uh, I think that's all I'll be getting for the next foreseeable future. Uh, crazy Rudy at Alpha Investment said Wheel of Fortune was going to go up. So I bought six of them at thirty. And nice, well done. Now they're like one hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah, right. that was strong. Do you turn around and sell them whenever that happens, or do you still hold on to it? Uh with most cards, yes. With reserve list, it's always kind of that, like, hmm. You want to hold on maybe. to it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll probably dump at least one of them just to get a few more. Get it, like I want to get a grim monolith and some yeah. other expensive stuff. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, use it to find, use it to buy out other reserve list cards, basically. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just keep reinvesting it. Another big draw, big draw. Uh, ooh, that's a lot of useless now that Acon's gone. He gone. <laughs> um. Okay. So. If you want to board wipe again, that'd be cool. What was that? You could board wipe if you want. That'd be cool. No, I've got another indestructible spell in my hand. Uh huh. Really? <laughs> for for one white or black? I'd like to know its name, please. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can find one. I have several decks that could benefit from it. That's a card. Oh goodness, I could draw a lot of cards here. Oh yeah, you do. Uh, anyway, this buried alive is a lot of useless. Oh, Sylvan Library. Oh my. Uh, this is sad. I'm going to discard Paradox Engine. Whoa. Because I don't have any rocks. <laughs> yeah, like, that makes sense. I... I'm down for that. You can discard Paradox Engine all day long. Staying yeah. hydrated. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you stay hydrated? And you your water sicken bottle. me, sir. Um, Are you fighting off the uh, amalgam for it? Yeah, I can't. I can't pay for this last one. It's so sad. <laughs> it's like I can't draw. I, I, it's making me click no, as if I don't already feel bad enough as it is. <laughs> it's like, like I don't. I don't want this. You can't draw it. I think I should have put the mirrors in, like the mirror retriever and the uh, junk diver. Oh, I think that might. Nice. Yeah. I think that might have been a mistake on my part. Oh, yeah. never mind. Nope, never mind. We're good. All is well. All is well. Brassica? Nope. I just remembered something else. Yeah, the junk diver and stuff are really good to loop stuff. Yeah. So, uh, Eli, let's talk about that Karn. What uh, what are your plans for that Karn? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing really. 
You're just gonna sit there and look pretty. This is where PJ takes another two and goes to eight, and then just dies <laughs> to Iris. Going <laughs> out on his own terms. I already, showed you, I already showed you that my plan for Karn. Um, that. I just want to draw cards, man. Can't blame you. This game has been weird. I haven't had a chance to play my commander again. I've just been like trying to put stuff on the board. Commander coming back with the scry. Got the, the panther commander coming down. Panther co yep. panther tribal. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sweet. Cat That'd tribal in white and black. I think, well, actually, no, green. Green's pretty cat heavy now, too. Yeah. yeah. But it's just weird. Man, I always thought that was a horse. That is just, no, that is a full on panther. Yep. <laughs> Uh, all right, team vote. Should I attack into the Karn? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Okay. At this point, we have Jolt has to waste his resources into it. I think. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess we're passing the turn. Sad as that makes me. Yeah. Do what you got to do. Yep. <laughs> We got Core Haven. Got target attacking creature, okay. Hey man, I'm not the threat here. <laughs> <laughs> you were for a long time. I wasn't even attacking, just trying to hold off the team. Likely still. Mostly just draw out of my land. Yes, I'm gonna use that. I always like it when there's like abilities. Like, do you want to use this? I'm like, yes. Please. Why would I not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is wrong with you? Here so I can use this ability. Thanks. These got reprinted. Mine's I got reprinted in uh, Battle Bond. I'm gonna have to Did trade really? for. Yeah, I'm gonna have to trade for some of them. They're really good. In like non-blue and black decks. Yeah, it's got to be in the right deck, though. Like, I mm -hmm. found it's not great for super aggressive decks. Yeah. I mean, the commitment for five and then having one up for each draw. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, basically, a, basically a Boros card. Yeah. But it was expensive for a little while. Like, uh, they jumped up in price. Yeah. I had, like, a random foil one that I got nice. from some very cheaply back in the day, and then... I actually don't even know what happened to it. I think it's just sitting in a box somewhere. Yeah. But... Oh, surprise, surprise. She's she's pointing at that Colossus again. Look how big that is. Instagram time. He's pretty swole. Okay. He's been going to the gym. He's got he's got like sixty K followers on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the, it's all about them bicep pics. Yeah. <laughs> Although I wouldn't want to be the house that's directly under his like kilt. That to me is just <laughs> a little bit too much. You don't even control. Oh, you control legendary samurai. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Samurai army going. Oh no, dang it. Oh well. Oh no, excuse me, as a defender. I can't attack with him. Yeah. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. <laughs> I thought I was like, I oh, know I misclicked. But no, defender. I'm just gonna post up right here. Uh that's gonna get both of you for a lot of damage, isn't it? Maybe, I don't know. We don't have time for math. <laughs> math is hard. <laughs> I do as little as I possibly can in life. Yeah, you should go for that one. Yep. I'm going to have a sandwich after, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I went to go fill up my water bottle. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get a sandwich going, too. I was like, yeah. I, was getting, I was getting to that hungry point. Yeah. Had some gummy bears to refuel my hand. <laughs> gummy bears, oh goodness. I love gummy bears, man. For me now, it's it's all it's like uh, chocolate covered almonds are my big thing. That's uh, really? yeah, those are those make me happy. 
I used to be a big sweets guy, but now I'm craving like salty things more. Yeah, savory. Yeah. Chips are good. Yeah, just give me some like Lay's. Yep. <laughs> some salt and vinegar chips. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I love salt and vinegar. Because you guys don't have, and I, I don't like these kind of chips, but apparently like ketchup chips. People love ketchup chips in Canada. Ketchup sure, chips? Yeah, in Eli, you must, you must have some there, right? Uh, in their store, yeah. Yeah, in the store. I'm not saying you particularly, but like, yeah, it's <laughs> no. it's it's a Canadian thing. It is just like literally a chip that tastes like ketchup? Exactly. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. Yeah. So that's the thing. Is it like. Popular? It's super popular. People love it. I don't. I can't stand it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I, I cannot kind of, stand it. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense if you think about French fries and yeah, French fries and, and ketchup. ketchup. Yeah, it makes sense. Is something like allspice or not allspice? Oh, what is it? Um, all dressing or there was some sort of all Canadian dressed. Chip. Yeah, all dressed. All dressed. Yeah. yeah, those are good. I like those. They had them at the gas station the other day, and it was like. The biggest thing in Canada. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. I wouldn't it. say it's the biggest thing in Canada, but. <laughs> it's, it's marketing. I was like, well, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll buy a bag in honor of Bud stuff. Yeah, it's like it's like barbecue like, and salt and vinegar and like sour yeah. cream and onion. Like it's a little bit it of everything. Does. It's really good. I enjoyed <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. I didn't know this, but my wife is apparently a big fan of beef jerky. Oh. Um, so we bought some because there's a fair practice uh, farm out by my mother-in-law's place. And we bought some. And uh, when we were driving back from Montreal to New Jersey, and that did not last long. It was very good. No, beef jerky, it's hard to keep. Uh, it's expensive. It is. I have, a, I have a food dehydrator, and I made some one time. Oh, and nice, I need to nice. Do it again, and it's good. The best thing that I do is um, apples. Dehydrated apples are yep. really good. Yeah, oh. yeah. Those are nice to have, like, in, in granola or things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a good draw. My uh, my parents were dehydrating jalapeno peppers one time, Ooh. and I walked through the room that they were doing it Ooh. in. Yeah, it was basically like I got pepper spray. Yep, <laughs> yep, I can imagine that. <laughs> you gotta watch jalapeno peppers; they're uh, they're tricky. Yep. What uh, what you doing there, Eli? What you gonna do, board wipe? Uh, well, I I drew one. <laughs> so I heard will we good will call. we be seeing it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should hope so. Excellent, excellent. I've got another. Uh, oh. oh no, not not the not the reclamation, oh. not the Phyrexian thing. Uh, you hit my mind's oh. eye too. Oh, oh, the humanity. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that card though, so I'm happy you're playing it. Yeah, it's it is a glorious card. Well, quick cast the, the Boros charm. <laughs> no, no, I'm oh, wow. trying to think of like what <laughs> you can exile out of got your hand nothing. to get indestructible. Right, here comes have. the Boros charm. Oh, mm. savage. Oh, the humanity. Get that well, life. I got some life gain. Yep. And now Saskia, she's been taxed out of in, into the command zone. <laughs> what is she at, eight now? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it'd be 12 to cast 12? Oh, she 12? is not cheap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, we well, got to bust into that ancient tomb to get her back uh, down. Huh. They should like put a counter on the commander. Like, yeah, I can't make it an, an easier way to, to tell. Yeah, because you just have to click on it like you're gonna cast it. Yeah, yeah. no, which, which for me, I can't tell how much your commander costs. Yeah, have you ever, um, PJ? Have you ever had jalapeno poppers? Those are fantastic. Uh, yeah, occasionally. What about you, Andrew or Eli? Do you, have y'all done those? Typically, I, I used to eat them more poppers. before I was lactose intolerant. But yeah. Uh, okay. Mirror works. Sweet card. Love jalapeno poppers. They're so good. And they're burnt too. Ooh. I tend to like spicy things, but uh, Veronica doesn't like spicy things very That's so. fair. That's fair. Look, I don't look get at to this have spicy value. all the time. Dreamstone enters the battle. Look at this value. Dreamstone enters the battlefield. They're going to use the mana to make a oh. cop. Oh, just. I tried to make that deck one time. I couldn't get it going quite well. It, it's very that durable. Is just sickening. I love yeah. it. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, look at that. There it goes. Right Boom, there it goes. Combo assembled. Storm. We've got Artifact Storm going on. Storm Count 2? This is why I wish I'd kept the stupid, uh, what's it called? Paradox Engine. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Now now that thing looks pretty good. Yeah, that'd be super. But oh well. We're getting really really close to a quick activation off that Colossus next turn. Yeah. yeah. After we just must have just doubled the amount of mana they had going on. How do you guys feel about Dreamstone Hedron in a non artifact combo deck? I I don't feel very strongly about it. Six mana is a lot for it. I'll run it in a deck that's like if I just need card draw, like okay. mm. like mono white or something like that. I'll run it in there because we're running. A, if I'm running a lot of ramp artifacts, I'll run it in there simply just to. I can see that. Just to have X. If something needs card draw like really really bad, then I'll run it in there. But yeah. But it's especially good in like an artifact deck like that. You know, having another source of card draw is always good. Yeah. yeah. Oh great. Combat damage is no thing. <laughs> the night captain. I'm so glad we didn't do the ex when we made the game, set it at 25 minutes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that would have been bad. Eli would have been timed out. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be all on like one minute left. Ding. Speed play. Go, go, go. Like It's like the chess games where you're just like tapping at the clock as quickly as you can. And that's what makes Magic Online different. I mean, not different, but like fun sometimes where like there's been times where i'm you know we're playing like i'm playing in the two bands or something like that and yeah. the clock gets down and it's just like i look at my opponent's clock i'm like they're not gonna be able to close it out if i just not it's not like i'm like eating the clock up on them yeah. but i'm like if i just pass the turn i was like i don't think they can get it yeah. right if i just play really defensively they can't yeah they can't yeah. Kill me. yeah if i can just get stuff out there i'll be able to close it out Oh, what, what a good whip of air bows. I'm getting that lifelink going. Yeah. Yeah, you need it. Whip of air bows all game. Sun Titan again. It's back. <laughs> I'm sick of this. I haven't played a lot of black and white before like a month ago, mm -hmm. and black and white is super sweet. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah. It's a fun color combination. Wait, I can yep. get all my stuff back from the graveyard? Oh, yes, okay. Really. <laughs> that seems fun. Where's that going? Uh, it's going to jolt. Seems fair. <laughs> what? He's got, he's got the most life. Why'd you put what the Why'd you put it? the greaves on him? What? <laughs> why'd you put the greaves on him? He has haste. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's just a normal. That's <laughs> like a habit of play. Misplays. Misplays. That that is lightning greaves misplays or that's like I've gotten a lot better at being able to balance commentary and mm -hmm. gameplay, but like lightning greave based mistakes are yeah. still <laughs> huge. <laughs> yeah, just and, and they're always so just like oh you could have won and I'm just like ah you're yeah. right Dang it. yeah yeah <laughs> there it goes. It's just like I forget it's just a card. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, like you finish your combat and then you forget you're supposed to move it somewhere else. So. Yeah. Yeah, man. It, it's just you didn't, wouldn't think it'd be that bad to make a misplay with it, but it is. Yeah, it's frustrating. Especially when it costs you the win. That's when yeah, it's like, yes. gosh darn it. Back up to a healthy 14. <laughs> Feeling better. Yeah. All right, let's see what we rip into. Oh, it's in the graveyard. One, two. No, you don't have that many creatures in your favorite, do you? This has been quite the game, though. Yeah. yeah. A lot of board a lot wipes. Of, a lot, lot of, of wipes. A lot of lead changes. I've had, my, I've had one foot in the grave most of the game. Yeah. <laughs> That's mostly by your own doing, though. Yeah, I know. I gotta stop running Ancient Tomb. I I do so many bad. Ancient things. Tomb is so good though, because it's like, wait, I have two extra mana. Yeah, we just gotta use it every single turn. <laughs> and I realize, oh, my life total is really low. Not not the most relevant color types to be protected from right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking a little clunky on this one. Just a In tad. fact, some some might say zero relevance. Negative. Unless he's running blood mist. Could be. 
I used to run uh, Sword of War and Peace in a lot of decks, except it clashes yeah. with with the uh, Duelist Heritage. You can't Ooh, target. The you can't target it. Yeah, it's pro white. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many times I've been blown out by that? Like Duelist Heritage, that amazing. The protection counts towards you. Yep. Oh, it comes up with Bruce Tarl a lot too. Yep. Uh oh. Oh. Seems not hey. bad. Tokens. <laughs> I love that. That's such a good card. That's Secure a, the waste. Card. That is a good card. Yeah, you for one white. Hand. And it's not yeah. even like XX. It's just X. It's just like, just whatever you want to put dump, into it, that's fine. Yeah. Dump your mana. Get How is soldiers it going? That's yeah, the that's question. That was my plan until it could old Boros germ. Yeah. <laughs> Ruined my day. Man, this Avon Rift Watcher is doing some some serious life gain for you there, Eli. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would take a Rift Watcher. The Avon Rift Watcher, it be Avon believes. <laughs> Still, we got this. Let's see. One, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, four. I'm trying to think of what I could even draw into now at this point <laughs> to bounce back. I got so lucky with painful truths. Yeah. I think other than that. I'm going to see that Colossus going, though. It would be so good if it had def uh, Trample. Yeah. No, it does have Trample. Excuse me, it does. It, it gains it. It, it, it loses it. It yeah. loses Defender for it. Oh, hey, yeah, that's the thing. <clears throat> There's Lin Civi. The defiant hero. The rebel. Look at that army. It's like nothing even happened. Pretty much. I like the tokens for that. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Yeah. For the, uh... The, 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 uh, the sort of the cons, dragon scaled yeah. armored ones. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. It reminds me of, uh, what's his name? The, uh... The Naya one. Um, Commander. Oh, what's his name? It's where, like, the Sandstorm guy. Uh, oh, Hayes is on Tamar. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking through my binder yesterday. I have one of those that I bought. He's in, uh, expensive. Yeah, I got it for, like, five bucks. <laughs> yep. 2010. Whoa, and $200. Like, oh, That's yeah, crazy. Like, what? How did that thing get so... I have an English Nicole Bolas too that I bought, I don't know, two years ago for like 25 bucks, and that's some stupid price now. The reserveless buyouts, man, they've gotten out of control. Yeah, yeah that, that's. Yeah, it's, I don't know if y'all see that post every week on Friday, on, on Reddit on Fridays with the MTG Stocks website that do like yeah. the movers or like the top yeah. whatever of the week. And it's just crazy seeing some of the cards that do spike like that. Yeah. With the reserve list, you always worry that like it may not come back down. They're, it, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's the what's the, what's the term that they use? Uh, fear of missing out. Yeah, FOMO oh, yeah. or whatever. FOMO or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. So that I mean, because there's sometimes you look at a card like no way that's gonna hold its like value, right. then you're like, well, yeah. people keep buying into it. Yeah. Oh, just look at Mirror Works, just putting in some work. Yeah. So weird that it gains trample when it's gonna only be able to block. Yeah. Yeah. It is a bit of a weird one. It's not Golem Golem Tribal, it's Defender Tribal. <laughs> you found me out, <laughs> shit. Yeah, the Defender Tribal. Yeah, way to stick to the rules, Mazda. <laughs> I'm really I'm committed. I commit to a theme and I play it through. <laughs> like my Nizal deck, where it was all it had to, everything had to have water in it. I just I, that oh that that game was so defeating when you were just drawing that many cards. Yeah, and then like, I completely I just... messed up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's just got to the point where there's so much card draw. I'm just like I just just I'll never come back. Yeah. Well, it's not a land. The dream might still be alive. Unfortunately, I think my samurai, they're going to lose the Bushido Cove once I finally get uh, Sasuke back down. <laughs> oh, no. There's too many creatures on the battlefield now. 
It's crazy how good uh, God of Victory is with that menace and yeah. then all damage that yeah. would be dealt to attacking creatures. I mean, it's just... Very relevant. Yes, very good card. And then pretty soon we're going to have Goat Tribal. It's a pretty... good trading post going. Yep. Going to dump all my life into it. I'm going to pull a PJ and go real low. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I always have a really low life total yep. in the games we play. <laughs> Got Panther Knight coming down. Why is that? It's a crazy. Don't, don't need a don't need a fell war stone. We got two two and then one one's coming out. Do you have anything else out of your graveyard? No, my graveyard is not. What you naming? Good name, Knights. <laughs> is that Kithkin? <laughs> uh... So I, I kind of toyed around with a, a, a mono white goat deck in modern. <laughs> Do it. And and um, you have Cavern of Souls in there. I run mm -hmm. like one or two of them in there, and there's no better feeling of getting down Cavern of Souls and naming a Kithkin off Cavern that is, of Souls. That is and very true. Just passing your opponent like, is this good? <laughs> is this okay? Can I do this? Is this fine? Kithkin? Are you, and then just that look of just like, or that, uh, why would they name Kithkin? The sketchiness. He's like, what's, what's going on over here? What's he up to? And speaking of Cavern of Souls, it reminds me of... Um, it was the pro tour where like blue actually I'll, I'll let me get my turn going if I don't hit a land but well it's something. Mono white Kipkin was a deck back in the day. Like in standard. Mana Vault, you can potentially almost kill yourself with it. Good, good to know. <laughs> good to know. Hmm. No one wants to attack me? <laughs> No, that 10 is pretty scary. You don't want these 7-7s seven to become non-defenders too? Uh, also those. Also those. There we go. There she is. There's there our girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, so... See, I always when it gets to the point in the game where you cast your commander like four times, you can't help but imagine how beat up they would look. Yeah, she's she's kind of like she's really that sword is being used as a cane now. She's kind of like or the axe. She's just like, you know, what, guys, like so I can't tired. just you guys you guys go ahead. I'll I'll catch up. Just kind of closes her eyes. Get up from underneath the whip. I can't push. My, yeah. Me again. Well, you're at 10, and there's not really much I can do other than just maybe just take somebody down with me. <laughs> Jeez. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. Well, if I'm going to go, you're going to me. Because <laughs> yeah. I was thought about going for PJ, but I'm sitting there looking at that whip of Erebos and that lifelink. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm just going to out. That will make no sense on the board state that I've got developed at this point. Yeah. Yep. Hey, but three turns ago, your board state looked great. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. fantastic. What happened to it? It's got blown up. Strange. Even with how bad everybody wanted it off the battlefield, I was just like, we're going to try. I think I, I ran three board wipes in this deck, and I wanted to run like four or five. It's probably a good thing I didn't. Yeah. We got value coming down. Here comes Sun Titan. I believe it's pronounced while you. <laughs> As Vince from Pleasant Kenobi would say, the wow you. Hashtag. Hashtag wow you. His, yeah. his, his, the, the, the merfolk lady, that Tell landfall, I don't know if you guys saw the game that he posted, but holy cow. I haven't had the chance to watch it oh, yet. Oh my goodness. It is, it is a treat to see. Yeah, it, it is. Uh... Well, we saw it up at close. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I think he refined it a little bit more because it went off super oh, hard Nova? yeah yeah she seems yeah, very good right. yeah fighting through that one that one was uh it was like a, i tried to get down slime foot and then it was just game over I was, yeah. Just, yeah. I was never back in it i was just like oh, oh so I, I shot your slime foot with something and like yeah. i wish i i wish i didn't 
<laughs> no, <laughs> like, I mean, it for uh, Seedborn Muse or something like that. I'm oh like, yeah. Would have been well, so either way, better. it would have been bad because we're looking at a, a basically ancestral recall. Oh boy. Every single time something happens. So. Yeah. Yeah. I had ten good. board wipes in that deck, and I didn't draw a single one. Is Eli gonna get aggressive? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> get the Avian Rift Watcher. I mean, if you swing one token at me, I could swing it. I could swing a Jolt. Is it? Does this defender gain trample? Yeah, the two the guardians lose defender and gain trample. Uh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, they'll come at me though, right? You can awaken the beasts. I mean, at some point they might. There is a chance. Wait. Awaken the guardians. We'll just end uh... the game in a draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eli's fighting not just us but also the clock at this point. Yeah. No. <laughs> Had way too many. Okay. Well, he said you attack him, so I'll believe you. It's fair. We have the the the, the Canadian bro agreement. Well, I tend to believe people when they say in game, until proven otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> PJ, never, never make a deal. <laughs> what? Exactly. One person blocks. It's hard to tell which one I'm blocking, so I'm just. Yeah, there's a lot of your cards are shrunken quite small, and <laughs> well, it's like they're bouncing around block, everywhere. Yeah, if I double block the same token, I'm just getting everybody heads up. That's why. <laughs> I think I clicked on the same wrong. <laughs> Looking at Colossus. Oh, that's going to be brutal next turn. Yeah. Well, it's 14 right now. So um, you're swinging in at PJ, right? Because that's going to be a 2020. Obviously. I can help you do the math if you're swinging in at PJ, right? Obviously, yeah. yeah. We'll have to. We'll have to. We'll get. A, we'll bust out the calculators. <laughs> I can run the math, but the math's only good for PJ, though. Oh, that's very specific. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buzz is like, no, Colossus, he he remembers the amount of time Sasuke pointed at him. Yeah. I'm just going to make a goat now. Oh, yeah. Love it. Secret tribal deck. Goats. <laughs> Go goats. No one's expecting the goats. Man, it feels so good to get goat tribal going. <laughs> is that true, goat tribal? Yeah, man, it's just, I don't, I don't know what it is about having zero one goats, but it's just, that's some, that's some good magic right there. Mm -hmm. You know you're doing something right when you're getting goats. It's goat lethal? You look at your opponent? Yeah. Concede? And then you need to get the flip. Flip. Did you not cast anything? No, Eli just guess. attacked. Seven cards? That's suspicious. <laughs> well, I, I guess, guess you got activated abilities, so I guess yeah. I can't. Yeah, not casting yeah. spells in a rebel deck is not overly suspicious. <laughs> I haven't done any searching this game, though. Uh-oh, oh, there, there we go. Oh, no. That seems oh. bad. Paradox Engine. It's probably mm -hmm. probably not good. <laughs> I love that you're just giving us a heads up. Just a heads up, y'all. It's not good things, for y'all. Things may be problematic. Oh, wait. No, I wanted to do that. Oh, my God. Because of Mishra's workshop, it's like you have to ch like individually select the yep. mana to cast this artifact. <laughs> yep. It's deeply upsetting. It's like filter mana. I will not pay for a token copy of a legendary artifact, thank you. You can if you want to. I could. I could. It's definitely it's it's within my rights. 
but uh, I will choose not to. I'm excited to see how what sort of mana generation we're going to get on this. We're looking at goats, <laughs> multiple goat activations. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We could probably just take out Joel right now. Colossus. Oh, Hello. the staff. That seems like a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, staff does crazy stuff. Yes, it does. I will always yield to Paradox Engine. Thank you. Uh, so I was looking at one, two, three, four, five. We've got 10 mana. Ooh. I'm going to have a lot of mana. Uh, do I want to make a copy? I guess I might as well. Why not? It's in, in the base. This is it. Just Excited with it. Ooh, okay, got spine coming down. Uh oh. They make a copy of it. Yep. <laughs> so I built like a, uh, a, like, this is like a Magic Online, they had classic mm -hmm. format. And yep. uh, I built like this uh, cloud post, mono red cloud post deck with mirror works and pandemonium. And so <laughs> I used to always use mirror works, you know, get a copy of leveler to deal 20 damage. And that was, <laughs> that was so good. It felt, felt really good playing that deck. And you'd run into a lot of people playing cloud post decks in the, oh, God. In the kitchen I table stuff. To... Yeah, there, that, may have, that may have been a problem. Sorry, that's wrong. So at this point, I think I can just blow up your entire boards. Oh, like you go infinite? Yeah, I think I think this is an infinite. I basically can draw my deck and blow up boards and such. Oh. Wee. Yeah, so that, that, yeah, so sacrifice that, get a goat token. Yeah. Bring it back. Oh my god, it's making me click all the mana. Bring it black, blow everything. Okay. Yeah. Is, it, is that the line of play, this blow everything up? Uh, well, no, I'm not going to go through the whole combo because that's going to take too long, but I can definitely... No. I'm going to do it enough times, I guess, at this point to... Uh, I, I just meant, like, if you were going to blow everything up, we could scoop it up. Yeah, well, I'm going to kill all the creatures. Okay. And then... Uh, I should have enough to get through... Um, Everyone's stuff base. I can kill. I can kill you, and I can kill Eli, and then I kill um, PJ after that. So we want to end it. You you gonna go and do it? I'll I'll go through it. Yeah, I'll go through it. Okay. Cool. Uh, pay one. Oh, deal breaker. <laughs> gotta play. Gotta play it out. <laughs> I like Sasuke is pointing at that, that spine as it enters the battlefield before it sends her back to the command zone. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I could have played this last turn, but I wanted to keep up mana. That would have stopped this whole shenanigans. Right in my hand. <laughs> I mean, the issue also is I have to blow up Eli's lands as well, or at least his white sources, because otherwise he can, well, he and PJ can do stuff to me. 
Yeah, I could have played an Aura Silence last turn, but I wanted a three mana. Probably should just play I don't know if I think I would have. I think I would have been able to play around Aura of Silence though. Probably with uh, now that you have Trading Post. Yeah. So I would have had to get rid of uh, Mirror Works. Yeah. Okay, so it didn't matter then, it's fine. But I'll go through the motions if we have to. No, so I, I, I'm fine with if you've got if you've got the combo. I've, I've seen it, so I'm good. Yeah, you're yeah. infinite, right? Uh, basically, yeah, I'll, yeah. I can I can in theory blow everything up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm yeah, good. we're I'm, we, I'm we'll save you some clicking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, we have Go Golem Tribal taking down the the EDH Lounge. Ugh. <laughs> With a spine coming down, take care of everything. But uh, hey. as far as uh, wrap up for the video, is there anything y'all would have done differently with y'all's decks or anything like that? Um, I think I would have added a more graveyard recursion. I, for the longest time, thought that I had nothing uh, outside of the what's it called? The um, Codex Shredder to get stuff back. But then I remember Trading Post, which is just such a versatile card. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and junk diver, and then there's the one from Kaladesh. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of them, yeah. And uh, the two meta one from Mirrodin. So there's at least four. four yeah, five. I would have put I would have put a couple more of those in. I think just to, because Eli was wiping the board over and over again, and not just creatures. He was hitting all of my good stuff, and it was just uh, yeah. the setback was real. So w one of the hard things about building the samurai tribals, I wanted to build samurai, but there's just they're not good yeah <laughs> and so like having to use my non-tribe so it's basically it's almost like i built a human tribe but i really wanted like let uh, samurai to be the forefront but um using some of those human lord style effects really kind of helped um kind of level the playing field just a little bit you know stuff like ravos and stuff like that that was pretty good but um yeah pj i'm gonna smash into you yeah have at it <laughs> have at it oh yeah i was gonna wipe the board again next turn <laughs> yeah, I had a they, feeling like it was it, it's with all of my stuff have? I had which to wipe? go off which wipe oh. did you have uh I had a uh austere command mm, yeah that would have been oh, that would have yeah, been good, good I would have taken out artifacts and uh, the larger creatures yeah yep yeah. that would have been good alright Musta closes it how about uh, how about you Eli I mean is anything that you would have um as far as the deck building anything you, you would have done differently uh, with it deck building no uh, definitely need to play a little bit faster. I was uh, my sequencing was kind of poor, and uh, it would have been nice to actually do the rebel chain. But I don't know. yeah, the game go on. I wanted to play my my Elspeth to like hold off. Yeah. Boy, she. Uh, she if, uh, uh, yeah. If you hadn't had Boros turn that turn, my plan was to then my next turn I had a uh, White Sun Zenith in my hand. I was going to mm -hmm. kill at least two people at once. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the plan. That would have been good. Uh, I had the Sun Titan, but then. The Bajuka Bog followed by Boros Charm mm. pretty much completely wrecked me. <laughs> yeah, that, that Boros Charm. Oh, man. But I, I hit that off Painful Truths. And so Oof. that was when I was just riffing nothing but land. So I ran yeah. into that and I drew into uh, the God of Victory. I was like, oh, exactly what I needed. To <laughs> it's get a sign. Game, so. <laughs> yeah. Boros comes through. I was, trying to be, Go so I was trying to be like really control heavy mm. uh, and try to use like the plan was to try to sacrifice a lot with Dictate of Erebos and Grave Pact. Uh, that that plan got shot up pretty quick. Hmm. And then from there, it was kind of just play the long game with Haycon. And uh, I have Debtor's Nell. It was about three cards away at the end there, which is something that I was really looking for. I love that card. But yeah. I don't know. I think I need, like, more creatures. The deck, it didn't feel super cohesive. Like, I didn't... I drew the weird half of the deck. I didn't draw, like, any of my early creatures at all, which was yeah. weird. But... Um, Definitely needs to be tweaked a little bit, but uh, I think there's some potential there. Yeah, well, it's good. Good showing from everybody. Yeah. Definitely enjoyed it, and so I think that's going to be it for the video. And everybody, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.